buddy. Oh, you just wake up all the time. Larry just woke up for the stream. He's like, "You're gonna stream, Daddy? Let's fucking stream together." All right, let's, let's fucking stream together, lads. Let's fucking stream. What's up, Lisa Riley? <laughs> my my clickbait for Lisa Riley worked. <laughs> What's up, Rigo? Big rig Rigo. How's it going, man? Uh, you guys watched the World Cup? I fucking won eight eight leg parlay. It was a free to win thing, and some other seriously other eight leg parlays that I've seen other people win. They won like hundreds and hundreds of dollars, but I think I only won. <laughs> I don't know yet. I haven't checked, but I think it's only like 20, maybe less, maybe more, but somewhere around there, which really sucks. Because sometimes when they do the prize pool, they only give it to the people who get everything right. And sometimes they give it to the people who get everything right. And then a smaller portion of the people who get like one wrong. Um, I think that's what they did with this one, sadly. But I still fucking won. So that's kind of cool. That's fucking kind of cool. Um, Lurz looks cute today. Even though I don't enjoy the company of college, <laughs> you don't, Lisa. You strike me as a type that would love the company of a colored gentleman. Um, what is it about colored gentlemen? Don't you like Lisa Riley? Again, maybe at the end of this, if the thing is, if I say it, Rigo, what's up, Loquacious? How's it going, buddy? If I say it, Rigo, then I can't post the stream, and uh, and I want to post the stream. <laughs> uh, well, part of me doesn't want to post the stream because it ruins my algorithm, but but at the same time, my algorithm's already fucked anyway, so I don't think it really matters at this point. And I just need the watch hours. I fucking have to get it. Like the stream, guys. Like the fucking stream. Um, Sife, Sife, Reed, Sife, um, repulsive, their skin color repulsive to me. Um, for me, uh, not a gentleman, but ladies, it, the skin color has nothing to do with it. I really don't care how dark someone is. Um, but it's for me, it's, it's the hair, it's the lips, the lips, is a huge one. And, uh, the smell, those are the three things that it's like, ugh, you kind of, kind of shudder when you even think about it but the, the skin color itself i don't really fucking care unless they're like so dark they're purple um then it's kind of gross but those are really really rare most of the time you don't have uh um you don't see that you know what i mean uh but the ones that you do like that's unfortunate for them um only enjoy fat smelly white guys closeted gay jews like mr guru uh that um, yeah, you have a type, you have a type, Lisa Riley. Um, uh, what do you think about Uyghurs? What do you think about Uyghurs, Lisa Riley? You need to do Lair Bear videos. I know, dude, look at, look at Larry right now. He's just, he loves those pajama pants. I haven't worn those. I don't think, ever, maybe, maybe I, I wore them like a few times, like maybe six years ago or something. And they just fit in the back of my closet. And I took him out a while ago, and he's been going crazy over the smell of them. They just smell like, uh, they just smell like poop. No, not, they don't smell like poop. They smell like, um, someone texts me. Uh, okay, no one texts me. They smell like, uh, what's it called? Fabric softener, because it was laying on top of a, a thing of fabric softener. And I think he just likes the fabric softener. Um, but yeah, he loved it. Yeah, so I just kept it out because he loves it so much. Um, I do need to do Larry vids, like, but it's, it's like, I've tried a few times uh, recording him doing stuff, but it's like every time I start recording him when he's when he's being funny, he just stops being funny. It's like he knows. So I have to get him when he's not paying attention. Um, but he does funny shit every single fucking day, man. Like he's seriously the funniest cat I've ever had. It's just. Right when, when the camera's on him, he stops being funny. But I do need some Lair Bear videos on my channel to hopefully get some views up. Um, 
because because people will love him. People do love him. Oh, okay. hold on. Yeah, there he is. Get it, Larry. Get it. Get it. Yeah, go get it. Good job. <laughs> good job, buddy. Okay, now you're looking at your foot. Okay, that's good too. Okay. All right. Um. Maybe I can clip that and fucking. Well, then it'd be a short, and the short wouldn't fucking. It doesn't count towards my watch hours anyway, so I don't fucking know. Um, let's see. And the way they be smelling, yo. Oh my god, I know. I've said this before, but uh, when I was homeless, uh, I had a uh, um, what's it called? I had a fucking membership to Planet Fitness so I could shower every day. And a few times I had a shower right after a black guy got out. And it literally smelled like someone j just lit someone's hair on fire. That's what it smelled like. It's crazy. And it's like so potent. And when you're in the shower too, like smells are like heightened. Um, yeah, it was fucking terrible. <laughs> it's so fucking terrible. I don't know how that happens. I don't know how you smell burnt just because you got burnt, but I guess that is do shorts of him and they'll get thousands of views. I know, but the thing is that doesn't help my channel. I mean, maybe, maybe I'll get a few subscriptions here and there, but I need, but shorts don't count towards watch hours. Larry's fucking, fucking with this shit. Um, no, I got it. I got it. That was a good catch. Larry's fucking around on the bottom of the, vacuum cleaner this shit is propped up on um but uh but yeah I'll, I'll i'll clip that of him and and i'll do it anyways might as well even though even though it doesn't count towards what i need um yeah uh and lee chopper <laughs> slid into your tiktok dm uh lisa you need a you need to link your tiktok you need to link your tiktok so we can all jerk off to it um lisa you should do shorts of your kitty yes 100 percent Back off, Lisa, says Kaylee Madison. Um, do you twerk on TikTok, Lisa? She seems like a twerker. Lisa, how much is your premium snap? There's a premium snap. Is that like the, the rival the rival to OnlyFans? I don't know. I, I don't have a snap. I don't have any of that shit. Um, Boo Boo had a had an Instagram and I haven't I go on it maybe once a year, and every time I go on it, it's like I regret it. Um, and then I, I, I do have a Facebook under a fake name, but I don't, I don't ever go on it. Um, do you think AI is going to replace all jobs eventually? Pretty much David, like, um, like when you think about it, like if you just think about, um, what's it called? The, the stuff we're doing in discord with, with the guru, uh, the, the AI computer generated images and shit, that shit is getting pretty good. And that's just the shit that's available to the public. Um, like the shit they actually have, like they already have a technology where you can, where you can give a list of things like, uh, like a, li a list of uh, what's it called parameters for not a, not a picture, but for a movie and like as many as you want. And it will just create a fucking movie for you. And it's like in the preliminary stuff, but you know, in five years, that's going to be like normal technology. So everyone in the movie business is going to fuck it. Like that's gone. And, um, everyone in like the service business, I think that's going to be gone. That's going to be replaced with AI. Um, there might be certain, there might, there might be certain things that you still need humans for, but like, I feel like in less than 10 years, probably, uh, maybe 15 maximum uh, AI is going to replace almost everybody's job because it can just fucking compute shit way faster than we can, you know? So um, I'm surprised AI hasn't, hasn't replaced more things um, like, like in restaurants and shit and fast food shit and grocery stores. Like it, it, it's, it's happening more and more, but it's not happening at the rate that I thought it would happen at. I twerk in TikTok. Yes. Uh, for a guru, it is free. For everyone else, it is five dollars a month. Um, here's the thing about Uyghurs: I don't like them because they are Muslims. Are they? Oh shit! I didn't even know. Um, do you scam your OnlyFans members streams like Guru? <laughs> Good question, Loquacious. Have you seen Omar lately? He always talks about you and how you're his best friend. Me? Oh, oh, what's up, Kyla? 
Uh, he hasn't texted me since his fight Saturday. Kyla, so you don't know what happened in his fight? Um, um, uh, like the stream, guys. What the fuck? Like the stream. But um, uh, sorry, someone texted me and it, and it threw off my fucking tr train of thought. Um, Omar, Omar. Yeah, do you, know, do you know if he won his fight? I'm assuming he lost his fight since he didn't text you. Um, but Ky is that actually a picture of Kyla or is that just some girl? Um, it probably is some, it is probably a picture of Kyla. AI hey, can't do my job. What's your job, Washington? Being fucking awesome in this chat. You're right. No AI can be as awesome as you, Washington. Um, I think Toast job is safe for a little while. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Toast isn't going to have that job for much longer. I'm pretty sure he wants to move back to Austin, if I remember correctly. Um, so are you talking about the, just the job in general? Yes, it's, yeah, I would, I would agree it's safe for a while, but uh, I don't think he's going to be doing it for that, longer, that much longer because I think he wants to move back to Austin. Um, uh, he got KO'd. He's in a coma. I'm sorry, Kyla. <laughs> yeah, he's he's counting bananas in his coma right now. Um, he slipped on one of his discarded banana peels on the way to the cage and hit his head. Yeah, yeah. Um, you just just yesterday, I uh, I DM musical something very similar to that because we were talking about Omar and his fight. I, I said something like, I said he won. I forgot exactly what I said. I said his opponent slipped on a banana peel and then Omar choked him with his, with his piss and shit stained tail. And, that, and then you got, you got a rear naked choke like that. Um, but it's Omar, so he probably lost. <laughs> Look, what just, oh my God, that sounds exactly like Omar. He's always throwing banana peels in his own poo all over the apartment. Classic Omar, man. Fucking classic Omar. No wonder you don't mind cocking him, Kyla. Yeah, Ky Kyla, uh, do you have, um, I hate cocking him, but he makes me do it. Um, well, why are you even with him, Kyla? If you don't like him, if you don't like his uh, poop flinging um, who, uh, shenanigans, why do you like him? Like, why are you with him? Like, why don't, why don't you be with a normal Caucasian human? Like yourself, like me, like Loquacious. Loquacious is single. Loquacious is a young, strapping, fucking middleweight framed buck. Why don't you go fucking go hang out with Loquacious? Yeah, why are you a zoophile, Kyla? Did you get molested by, by a monkey when you were like five or something? I want to suck. I want to cuck Omar with you, Kyla. Um, well, Unless you're with Omar, you can't really cuck him, right? And, and 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 Lisa, you just said that you 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 you're not attracted to him, so you'd have to fake attraction, and then and then get in a relationship with him and Kyla, and have it one of those um, degenerate freeway relationships that I see so fucking often on Tinder now. It's crazy, the amount of girls that are already in relationships, sometimes with girls, sometimes with guys, and they want to add a third, it's disgusting, dude. Like, I don't fucking want to, I don't want to fucking join that shit at all. Grosses me the fuck out. Like, I feel that's, I don't know why you'd want multiple people to be in a relationship. I genuinely don't understand that. Like, for me, like, I talk to one person at a time, no matter what. I cannot do two or more in the romantic field in my life at the same time. I genuinely can't do it. It's too much, um, not, I think it's, it's too much stimulus. I think it's too much, and it's too much like my mind's on that part of my life too much. And, and I want that part of my life to be a part of my life, not my entire life, you know? This fucking younger generation is like so fucking hypersexualized that that's like, that's like their entire life, you know? Um, and I think that, and I believe that's why, um, or one of the reasons why that uh, multiple people relationships are becoming more and more common or non-monogamous, ethically non-monogamous is the shit they say, but I don't believe it's ethical, ethical at all. Um, but, oh, that dropped. Um, uh, I only date law-abiding Han woman with a tier social credit. <laughs> Set, classic loquacious, classic loquacious. Um, 
Lisa collab with Kyla on OnlyFans. Yes, I need to take my medication for for herpes for the herp and of course bipolar disorder. Okay, um, that's fair. That's fair, Lisa Riley. Uh, I mean, I don't. I am very anti drug in almost every scenario. But if you got STDs, then you need them. Bipolar, I don't think I strongly against taking anything for that. Um, I think. Like when people talk about like bipolar disorder and like and schizophrenia and uh, multiple personality disorders, shit like that, borderline, all that shit. I think we're all kind of on that spectrum to varying degrees. And it's mostly to do with our lifestyle and just the way life is in 2022. Um, I think it's less, I think it's way less like an actual issue in your brain and way more your brain responding to to the current stimuli that, that we all live in. Um, is there seriously ser still no likes on this fucking stream? Like the fucking stream, guys. It might just be my phone. And if it is, I'm sorry, but like the fucking stream. Um, polyamorous people are so weird, it never works. I do, I know, and almost all of them, not all of them, but I'm gonna say at least 90, 95% of the ones I've seen on Tinder anyways. Oh, speaking of Tinder, I, someone remind me, someone fucking remind me to post, I found, what's her name? I found Laura Sanko's fucking twin, like younger twin. She, I think she's like 32 or something, but she looks exactly like her. It's, it's the, it's the most spot on doppelganger I've ever seen on, um, on Tinder or really anything. It literally looks exactly like her. Um, and I, uh, I uploaded it to my drive because I have I only have Tinder on my old phone, um, and uh, I'll use my phone shitty hotspot to like use it every once in a while. Um, but like I, I purposely don't have Tinder on my phone, and I don't want to notif get notified when I get messages and shit. For the same reason, I don't like anytime someone messages me, anytime I get like a like a, a match or whatever, and and it used to be on my phone, like I, it would just make me horny. Like I don't need to be more horny. Like, that's not what I need in my life. Um, but uh, anyway, so so I, I took a picture and I uploaded it. So I just have to download it on this phone and then I'll post it in Discord. It looks exactly like her, man. Fucking exactly. But uh, back to, um, what's it called? Uh, polyamorous people. Yeah, like nine, almost all of them are fat as fuck, disgusting as fuck. Like, you can't even imagine them being with one person, let alone multiple people. But uh and I think, I think a lot of them do it as like a defense mechanism as well. They're like, they know they're disgusting. So, so they'll say ethically non-monogamous in their fucking Tinder profile when they're not even in a relationship so as like a, as like a plausible deniability thing. Like, uh, like, oh, I'm just not getting matches because they don't like this or whatever. When really it's just because you're fat and ugly and stupid and gross. Um, but uh, that's weird as fuck. If you're okay with that, you're a cuck. Um, poly polyamory? Yeah, like that's not a... Uh, it's fucking gross, dude. Like, I don't... I don't Like, why would you want... Like, if you are... Like, if... I think it's... I don't want to say it's okay, but like, it's not inherently too wrong to like want to fuck many people, but just don't be in a fucking relationship with them. You know what I mean? Like, just fuck multiple people. That's... I don't want to like once again. It's not fine. I do think like spiritually that takes a, a tax on you, and you're like you're sexualizing your life way too much. But that it's at least ethically somewhat okay. But when you're actually in relationship, when you have like a three way relationship or a four way relationship, or whatever, or a relationship like O'Malley's and his wife, where you're just allowed to fuck other people, um, like that just don't sit well with me, man. <laughs> like it just don't sit well with me. And uh, yeah, I think it's pretty gross. Um, polyamorous is weird even to a slut like Lisa Riley. Even if Lisa Riley is saying it's fucking weird and gross because um, she's a slut, but only for guru, only for guru. Omar gave you HIV. Well, duh, he's a monk. It started with monkeys. HIV literally started because a gay guy fucked a monkey and then fucked a dude and then it spread. Like that's, that is a theory but I think it's the leading theory. It's either that or, or AIDS was, um, was a lab invention like 
like COVID, which is also very much a possibility, and they started injecting it into the gay population to thin them out. Um, and then inevitably they got, they got injected into a bi person instead of a gay person. And then it, it seeped into the heterosexual population. Um, that's another possibility. I like thinking, I like the monkey theory better. I think, I think both are equally pl plausible, but the monkey theory just, is just funnier to me. So I'm going to go with that. Um, polyamory is normal in the chimpanzee community. Um, that's why Omar is fucking all for it. Um, should I have to apologize for not liking color gentlemen? No, you can't help what you're attracted to, Lisa Riley. You can't fucking, no, don't apologize for that at all. Be loud, be proud of your sexuality. Like if you're allowed to, if you're allowed to fucking be proud of your gayness and your transness, you should be able to be proud of your, of your attracted to whiteness. You know, and it's the same fucking shit. Like we're all fucking attracted to something besides the weird asexual ones. I like stream six souls. Thank you, Lisa Riley. I like baby talk. Uh, I don't do baby talk. If you donate to me, maybe I'll do some baby talk. Um, I thought Tony Fauci created HIV in a lab in the eighties. Very possible. Very, like let's just say it could, it could be lab created or it could be monkey, monkey started. Uh, I don't know if someone can even fuck a monkey. Dude, have you seen some of uh, the Omar Cuckles like, have you looked at them? Like, they are way more monkey than they are human. I don't. And if, 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 if like sheep fuckers in Dagestan and Wales and Arkansas are fucking sheep and cows and shit, which are way further away from humans than a monkey is, like, you know, an Omar Cuckles is fucking, is balls deep in a monkey right now. As we speak, someone's doing it right now. I'm telling you, someone's doing it. Um, uh, okay, I don't like colored gentlemen to be inside me. They are gross. I only like white guys, like Guru. Yes, me too. And loquacious. Oh, uh, loquacious. You might be able to get slip in there. Um, Lisa Riley, where are you from, by the way? Could you make a trip out to the UK and and maybe give loquacious and Guru a nice blowy? Um, someone block me. Who just write the Tony Faust? Fauci message? Dave, uh, David, I, it, it, he might not have blocked you. He probably didn't block you. It's probably just YouTube being, being lame. Like I get a whole, like on, uh, when I'm on musical stream, um, there's so many messages he responds to that I can't see. And which I think is really fucking lame considering I'm an admin. Like if you're an admin, you, sh you people should not be able to block you. You know, like how am I supposed to do my job if I can't read the freaking messages? Um, but uh, it could, but YouTube like picks and chooses uh, message, uh, messages to show people. It's, it, he might not, like, he might have blocked you. He might not have blocked you. But uh, yeah, don't, don't just assume that. It could just be YouTube being lame. They think it comes from bush meat. I'm pretty sure. From bush meat? Uh, AIDS? AIDS? I am born in Northern Ireland, but I live in the USA. Ooh, very exotic, Lisa Riley. Very, very exotic. When did you, when did you move to the USA? college oh so you have like a super thick accent a super thick uh irish i can't do an irish accent um that's why you're wearing green in your profile picture i study being a slut and drinking um it seems like you're doing a really good job lisa seems like you're doing a really 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 good job i'm proud of you That's not Shemp, Lisa Riley. Or, or, that's not Shemp, David Icke. That's Lisa Riley. She is definitely not a male. I want to be uh, 
Guru's first kiss. Don't we all? Don't we all? No, actually, that'd be gross. Could you imagine? Guru, Guru, first off, Guru's head is like, it's like this compared to my head. And I have a pretty decent sized head. His head is like this. His, one of his moles is literally bigger than the size of my eye that you can see. So it's like, it's like my eye is like right there as a mole. And then it's like Guru's eye. Um, you know, it smells like fucking crusted dominoes and smegma. Um, but, uh, um, uh, is that she talks to angels is who talks to angels. You need to tune to open E open G. I can tune to whatever you want, baby. This is a standard tuning right now, but, um, probably so stinky dude he claims he showers every day but he's got atrophy he's in a wheelchair he doesn't go out any any anytime ever um like he probably can only shower when his parents like have the time to fucking you know uh loofah him down loofah down his poor atrophy body so i need to turn on the light for a second oh So I think maximum guru showers like twice a week, but it's probably more like once a week or once a month, like the ogre he is. So yeah, the song I was playing, I was playing, um, what's it called? By Silver Something, A Little Lover So Polite. That was by Silver Sun Pickups. It is similar, She Talks to Angels by the Black Crows. Um, I don't listen to the Black Crows. I don't know, I'm not familiar. Um, Anything with black in the name, I'm probably I'm probably gonna avoid it. Unless it's Larry, although black isn't in his name, he is as black as black can be. But uh, black cats are the best cats. Larry, what was that? Dude, what was that? He just like, I don't know if he saw like a little bug in the air, but like he just tried to eat either something imaginary or a bug in the air. I've never seen him do that before. Um, I silver some pickups. Or kissing. Oh, uh, yes, I used to. Um, I think. No, oh, I think it's this. Silver Sun pickups their first couple albums I fucking loved. I haven't, I've listened to some of their singles and stuff, like their newer stuff, and I've liked it, but I haven't really like listened deep on their recent albums. But their first EP pickle, and um, and then their first their first CD, what was it called? Carnivus, and their second CD, I forgot what it's called, but those three I really like a lot. Um, Play Lazy Eye.
That is not a riff I can play and sing at the same time. Sadly, because otherwise I would. But there's a lot of riffs I just can't. Like it's so fucking hard. I can I can sing that song. I can play that song, and then like together, I, it's impossible. It's fucking impossible. What fights are you are you looking forward to most Saturday? Um, I ha I haven't looked at the at the roster really yet. Um, what fights are going on? So I know it's a decent card. It's a pay per view. Um, I'm looking forward to see Patty because he always hypes up the crowd, and I want him to win. Um, but I don't. I'm not like super pumped for it. Who the fuck? Uh, I would. I would need a list. God, that's what I fucking do. Actually, I'm so stupid. I was gonna. I was gonna quickly hotspot um, uh, topology on my other phone so I could at least have a list and talk about the fighters. But like, I can't have hotspot on on my phone while I'm streaming. It, like, it just won't work. It barely works as it is. But but if I'm using if I'm currently using data on my phone and then I have it on, it just shuts off immediately. Um, but. Uh, if you want, I can look at it really, really fucking quick. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, I'll just do that. I'll look at the fucking list really, really fucking quick. I have it fucking bookmarked. But yeah, I can't remember any of them. So I'll be right fucking back, lad. All right, we fucking back, lad. Thank you, Loquacious. Thank you for that. Yes, donate to me, please. Uh, cash app preferably because I have $2 in my fucking account right now. I was going to go get food today. I thought I had like $8. I was going to get some chicken. Um, but then something fucking got taken out of my account and I only had two dollars. So I was like, okay, I guess I'm not fucking eating today. Um, so yes, if you want to, if you want to feed a fucking, a fucking, uh, broke 34 year old six, uh, cash app six soul, please. And thank you. Um, but anyways, uh, uh, fights I'm looking forward to the number one fight that really popped out to me was Curtis Buckley. I don't know what I'm going with that. I could see that going either way. I think that's, damn, that's a, that's such a good matchup. I really, really like that matchup. It should be way higher up on the card. I don't know why it's so, it looked like it was a, an early prelim, which is fucking insane. It's either an early prelim or the first of the regular prelims. I think that's bullshit. Um, I, and I, I just saw on Tapology. I did you guys fucking correct me if I'm wrong, but I didn't know Ponza Nibia. I didn't know Robbie Lawler dropped out. I had no fucking idea. I'm pretty sure as of yesterday, Robbie Lawler was scheduled to fight Ponza Nibia. And that was my absolute lock of the lock of the lock of the card. There was no chance in hell Lawler was going to win that fight. Zero for zero percent chance. Um, but now he's fighting uh, someone else. I forgot who it was. He's fighting someone else now, though. Um, I just saw it and I forgot it already. Um, like whoever it is probably has a better fucking chance of, of beating him than Lawler. Like, I don't know why they, that, that matchmaking was really fucking stupid. I don't get it. Uh, Morono. Yes. Yes. It's Morono. Huh? I, I still going to favor Ponzi for sure, but Morono has a chance. Whereas I genuinely felt like Lawler was just going to get slaughtered. Like if if like if he he looked so he looked okay in like the first couple of minutes against Barbarina and then he just gassed and then he got his ass kicked by fucking Barbarina. If you're getting beat by Barbarina, how do they give you Ponzi next? That makes no fucking sense. Um, literally no fucking sense. Um, thoughts on Jared Goring being molested by his camp counselor for four summers in a row? Is that real? <laughs> Is that, that sounds like it's fake. That sounds like it's fake, Rigo. But if it's real, that, I mean, I guess that can add some like inner fire and inner fuel to like go into a cage and beat someone's ass. I can see that. Um, but yeah, if that's true, then that fucking sucks. But uh, I'm guessing that's not true. Um, what were the other car, other fights I saw? Um, um, uh, I don't remember. Oh, the, uh, what's his name? Raul Rosas Jr. I don't give a fuck about him at all. I don't. E I don't even remember who he's. I think he's fighting Jake Perrin. I don't know. I think. I think. I think Rosas is fucking garb. Is absolute garbage. I don't. As soon as he gets an even like middle low grade uh, 
fighter, he's going to get his ass kicked. Like, he's not good. He's too, way too young. He should not be in the UFC. I think he's a good prospect for his age. At 17, he's a great prospect. But he is way too young to be in the UFC. He's going to get his ass kicked very soon. I don't know if it's going to be this fight, but pretty soon he's going to he's gonna get his ass kicked and he's going to look even uglier than he already does. Rose is ugly. He makes him mad. He's, he's so ugly that he doesn't even really look human. Like, I you can't even really describe how he looks. It's fucking... It's it's uh it's unfortunate, but it will also make him way more uh, uh what's the word for it? He'll be way more um, free in the cage. He's not going to be worried about breaking a nose or or you know any facial damage because he already looks shit. Any scars or anything like is this gonna? It'll probably just make him look better because then people will be like, oh, he was in some accident. That's why he looks so shitty. You know. So he's probably got incentive to get some facial scars. Um, uh, yes, he was molested by his counselor. He said it in Embedded. Really? Dude, I haven't, I haven't watched Embedded. I, I think Embedded is super fucking lame. Um, I only watch Embedded if there's like fighters I really, really like. And I don't think there's any fighters on this card that I'm like really, really emotionally invested in. Like Pavi is the closest, but like I still, he still bothers me sometimes as a person. And... And as a fighter, I love him as a fighter in the sense that he's, he's always like lays it out online and like, like, you know, someone's going to get finished when it, when it, when Patty's fighting, but, um, but he doesn't move his fucking head and his striking is really fucking average at best, I would say. And in that, in that lightweight division where like the top 15 are all fucking monsters, like, it's, I just don't have much hope for him. Like, I do think he can get in the top 15 and top 10, even if they keep giving him the right, the right matchups. But the second he, he cracks that top 10 area, he's going to have to fight someone legitimate. And that top 10 is murderer's row, man. I don't see him beating anyone in the top 10. Like, they're, just, they're all seemingly just really bad matchups for him. Unless he's got like a fucking absolute granite chin where even though he'll get cracked a lot, like he never fully goes out, then maybe he has a chance against some of those guys. But I just feel like, I just feel like his lights get put out when he, when he cracks that upper echelon, maybe not even the upper echelon, but the mid upper echelon guys like Drew Dober. I, I would not match him up against Patty. I think that'd be terrible for UFC business wise. Don't know why you do that. Um, who else? Uh, who else is like right outside the top 15. Uh, Do Dober's fighting Bobby Green. I think Bobby Green would be a much more in interesting matchup for Patty. That would be a matchup I would like to see. Because um, I don't think Bobby Green's going to KO Patty. But he's going to piece him up. Piece him the fuck up on the feet. And, uh, but maybe Patty can get him down and submit him. I think that's like a 50-50 matchup. That would be an interesting one. Um, but please don't give him Drew Dober. Please don't give him Terrence McKinney. Please don't give him some guy with fucking lightning in his hands. You know what I mean? Like that's the last thing we need um, as, as uh, a fan of the UFC. And like, as I want to see another big Connor, Connor like star. We don't fucking need that. Gur Dude, Gurham would murder, <laughs> would murder Patty. Would, Patty wouldn't be able to do anything to him. Um, yeah. Guys like Gurham and Gamrot and Armin, Dariush, those type of guys. Like, keep him away from Patty. Like, we already know what's going to happen, most likely. We don't need to fucking see that shit. But eventually, if he keeps winning these, these lower-level matchups, they're going to give him someone like that. And ugh, I don't know. Although I still think well, the, the Otman and Zaitar matchup that fell through, I still think he would have won that matchup. A lot of people were picking him to lose. I, like, and Zaitar just lost to Frivola, I think. But, um... I thought I thought for sure Patty would win that matchup. Like obviously there's a chance uh, a Zaitar could could beat him with like a a secret bag of potato powered right hand or some shit like that. But I just felt like his takedown defense really isn't there, and Patty would just get him down and sub him really fast. Um, and a lot a lot of the a lot of the criticism of Patty, which I just mentioned, like like his stand up is like a lot of people just view Patty as a stand up fighter, but he's not. He's a grappler mainly who can stand up. Um, the problem is like his, his takedowns aren't great. He's, he's British. So it's to be expected. Um, unless you're an absolute freak like Tom Aspinall, like if you're a British, your takedowns are not going to be great. Um, so that kind of worries me, but he should be able to, 
He, he should be able to take uh, Jordan's back and submit him in the first or second round, I think. Um, even if he was molested by his counselor for four summers in a row, that's great. Like, after the first summer you're molested by your camp counselor, wouldn't you be like, okay, I'm not going back here. <laughs> like, if you're going back year after year after year, maybe you wanted to be molested. Or, like, like you know what I mean? Like, wouldn't you just say, like, hey, I'm fucking getting diddled by the count, ca camp counselor. Can we please go to a different camp? It seems like that, I mean... I get it's traumatic and everything, but if you keep going back to the scene of the crime, you know, oh, uh, hey, Miss, oh, you want, hey, Miss Star. <laughs> you like that, hey, Miss Star, hi, Boss Star. Uh, remnant of a past relationship I have, yeah. Sign of low T to get lesson. Seriously. That doesn't sound right. I think there's a people on it. Maybe. Um, or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just fucking spazzing out. Nubby has high T from fighting off his stepdad constantly. Yeah, uh. He's got low T from, from taking in the ass from his stepdad constantly, but he's got high T from fighting that off constantly. So I think it probably balances out and he's got regular T. Um, but yeah, Rip, Rip Nubby. His uh, L, uh, LW ratio, who's uh, uh, Nubby's loss to win ratio? Is that LW ratio or something else? LW ratio down 2.1. Lost to win ratio? Is that what that means? I don't know what that means. Um, holy shit. That tripped me out. I thought um, it looked like a tree was falling, but it was just a bunch of birds. I know it's weird, but like, like through, the, through the blinds in this angle, it seriously looked like a tree was fucking falling. Maybe I'm still high. Oh, uh, oh we, I, let me do an arbitrary fucking uh, weed review because I just smoked new weed yesterday. Um, the weed, I, the weed I got, I don't think it was quite as good as the shit I got from him before. The shit I got from him before, I'd probably rate like an 8 or an 8.5. This, I would give like a 7.5 or a 7.75. .7 it's hard to fully give a review until I smoke it multiple days in a row and see how my body like responds to it. Um, because I feel like one of the biggest... Uh, one of the most important attributes a weed has, a, a certain strain of weed has, is the rehigh ability. Meaning, yeah, you can get high the first time you smoke it in a day, but do you, can you get hot like as high again the second time you smoke it, or in the third time you smoke it, and the fourth time you smoke it, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and his other shit, I felt like, and then like in consecutive days and shit, because you tend to get a tolerance for that shit. Um, and so I don't know the rehabilitability of this shit yet, but uh, but it was pretty like for for twenty bucks I could not complain. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, I, I have a story. I have a story. Hold on. So so this is a, a delta, not delta. This is a HHC. Um, which is an isomer of THC. This is in a joint right now, but uh, I just like, I just uh, like it used to be full and I just like sprinkle a little bit uh, onto my, onto my socket with like a little screen on it so it doesn't fall through. And um, anyway, like it's really, really fucking stale. It's super, super fucking stale. And I'm allergic to stale weed. And so and so I've only been smoking like maybe a bowl of this like once a week just because like I want to go through it and it is an enjoyable high like HHC 
out of all the legal THC isomers that I've tried, HHC is by far my favorite. It's it's just about as potent, if not even slightly more potent, more potent than regular THC. Um, but it's it's way more relaxing. It's a uh, um, like like with regular weed, a lot of strain you can you can smoke too much and get paranoid and shit. Uh, with HHC, I find it fucking impossible to do that. Um, but anyways, I'm allergic to this shit, and if I smoke too much too often, like 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 when I smoke. Like if I smoked two bowls of this in one day, for sure, the second bowl, like I would, I would like break out in hives and it'd be really itchy and really painful. So two days ago, I smoked a bowl of this and it was totally fine. Maybe it was three days ago. And, um, and then a few hours later, I smoked a bowl of the regular weed, like my old batch from the guy. And right when I smoked it, I, like, I felt like this fucking pain in my eye, like a crazy, crazy fucking pain. Uh, and I, I looked in the mirror, my eye was just like, my like entirety of my eye was just red. It was pure red. It wasn't like, it didn't look like bl blood vessels and shit. It just looked pure red. It looked like I had pink eye. Um, and it fucking hurt. This, this, was, this, was during, this was during the last uh, UFC card. I remember I smoked, I smoked that bowl right when the main card started. So the entirety of the fucking main card, my eye was watering, right? Like really, really bad. And half and it's getting worse and worse and worse. And halfway through, I go, I go in, like, like it feel like it felt really fucking crazy. So I went back into the bathroom, and no joke, there was a film probably like this thick, probably like a, like an eighth to a quarter inch thick of like really, really deep yellow film that was around my entire eye. The only part of my eye it wasn't around was like the black and part of the color, but the other half of the color it was around. And I, and I had to, and I had to get toilet paper and like brush it off and shit. And I think even today, like three days later, my eye still hasn't fully recovered. Um, and I still know what exactly what the fuck that was. I've had something like that happen before, but not to that extent. Like I thought, like it felt like my eye, like was going to pop out of its socket, like is going to do a Michael Bisping and the shit I was pulling out of it. It was so thick and gooey and sticky and nasty. And, uh, and then when I went to bed, I woke up in the morning and like, I couldn't even open my eye because there was just so much shit I had to wipe off in the morning. Um, and uh, oh God, it was fucking nasty. And I think it was, I think it was because I smoked this and I was fine, but I was like just at the threshold. Like if I smoked anything more that I was, I was allergic to, I'd start to break out in hives. And then I must've gotten a stem or something from my, from my good weed. And, and when I did that, like, or like it has some sort of crazy reaction, but uh, that was like one of my worst weed injuries. I've had a few weed injuries. That was one, one of the worst. I, you can't really call it an injury. It was an injured, but like it was an issue. It was an issue for a couple of days. Um, what's the longest tolerance break I ever took from weed? Uh, about nine months, nine or 10 months, David Ike. Um, but it wasn't specifically for the tolerance. Like I did, I quit because I was homeless and like being high when you're homeless was like the worst. So, um, so I stopped and then I didn't start again until, until we moved here, like a couple of months after we moved here. Um, but yeah, the longest I've gone is nine, uh, nine or 10 months since I started smoking weed, which was like 20 years ago. So I wish I, I don't want to keep smoking weed. Like I wish I could fucking not, but, um, but the fact I only smoke weed at night, I only smoke weed after seven and almost every day I only smoke one or two bowls. Um, occasionally I'll, I'll smoke three, but like if I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like wide awake and I can't fall asleep, then usually I'll smoke a third one. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, Loki, you still vaping or just, uh, just on the ciggies now? <laughs> Don't do the ciggies. Um, let's see. Uh, I think I missed some stuff. Uh, best flavor profile, individual flavor, flavor. Uh, I don't know what that's referring to. Um, grow six soul. You're not turning me on. dude. It was so nasty. It looked like it's hard to describe. It, it, it almost, it was like as kind of as if like, if someone jizzed in my eye, but like, but like the jizz was coming from behind my eye. Like, like if a dick was behind my, was like implanted in my head and behind my eye and like jizzed into the back and it was like seeping out the front. That's exactly what it felt like. Exactly what it fucking felt like. 
and it was terrible. And I had to watch the entire main card with one eye, basically, because I could barely see out of it. Um, but I still enjoyed that card. That, that was a fun card. Uh, just on cigarettes, Rig? Uh, just on cigarettes? No, don't. Wait, are you serious? I'm trying to become a daily drinker and smoker. Wait, are, are you serious, Loquacious, or are you just fucking around? Like, that's, like, I hope you're fucking around, dude. You don't try to do that. that. Those are things that happen to you because of bad decisions. You don't, that's not something you should attempt to do. I mean, it's your life, but that's stupid. I like Loquacious. Uh, I like cigarettes, Loquacious, me too. Uh, why? I don't understand. Loquacious, you're trained MMA. Why do you want to smoke and drink and ruin and ruin fucking your, like if you wanna, if you ever want a career in MMA or if you ever like have a plan on even just fighting a few amateur fights, you're not gonna wanna be smoking and drinking. Like you can, but it's like, like there's better drugs to do. There's better drugs to fucking do than, than weed and alcohol. I mean, not weed, not, I mean, alcohol and cigarettes. Those are like easily the grossest, stupidest fucking uh, drugs there is. Yuri smokes cigarettes. I don't think he, he allegedly does. I don't think, I don't think Yuri smokes like compulsively. I don't think he's a daily smoker. I think he smokes like celebratory. Like he will have a cigarette as a celebration or something, which is totally like that. That's different. That's different. But if you're smoking like a pack a day or some shit, or even half pack a day, like, uh, you're just, you're fucking up your body for no, no benefit. There's literally no benefit. There's, so many, so much better drugs you can do. Loquacious, you live in fucking Wales, dude. The ketamine flows freely there. Do some ketamine. Go down some fucking K-holes. You won't want to fucking drink and smoke. Uh, not really. Just we. Uh, do you smoke inside like musical? Uh, do I smoke inside like musical? Or does Loquacious? I don't smoke inside. Um, I don't smoke at all. Uh, I'll, I'll every, like, once a month, I'll smoke one of my tea cigarettes from Wish, maybe less than once a month. It's been 15 months since I bought it, or 16 months, and I think I've smoked like 12 of them. It's a little bit less than once a month, but every once in a while it feels like like, like the act of smoking something that isn't getting me high, but it's kind of relaxing. It is nice, but it's not something that I would ever want to do again. Um, it's, a, it's degenerate behavior. Uh, musical can get away with it, because he can any we've gone over any anything negative he converts into into positive he's like he's like a pyramid where negative shit comes from the bottom and then like and he just sprouts out positivity from the top so he gets a pass although it still it still hurts my fucking my prude fucking gay ass fucking like it, it hurt it still hurts to see but like he can get away with it loquacious you can't fucking get away with it you need to be teat kicking fucking Omar in the next Tuesday, we don't need you fucking smoking cigarettes and like lowering your power output. Guru is such an important piece of my life, MMA guru. Um, I think I know who you are, MMA guru, based on the way you talk and the way other people in chat are not here anymore. I'm pretty sure I know who you are, but let's just say you are the MMA guru and and the MMA guru says that guru is such an important piece of life. Well, yeah, because it's your it's your alter ego. <laughs> that's how I feel about cocaine six. Uh, that's what's how you feel. Like you feel that it's bad, that's stupid. Oh, Mitchell Tapuri. Oh, that that's that's the fu thank you, Nubby. Fucking thank you, Nubby. That's uh that's the fight I'm looking forward to. Chris Curtis, Joaquin Buckley, and uh, and Bryce Mitchell, Ilya Tapuria. Those two fights are the ones that I'm really looking forward to. The Buckley Curtis fight because I have no idea what the fuck's gonna happen. Right? Like I, I'm gonna have to watch some of their older fights and and listen to some breakdowns because that that's so 50-50. I can easily see that going either way. And Mitchell Tapuria, um, I completely disagree, Nubby, but I am biased as fuck. Mitchell is one of my favorite people in the UFC. I think he's so good for the sport. I think it'd be so good if he became champion. Um, like if you put if you put a rocket to that guy's ass and fucking market him, there's like I would say the majority of the MMA community would get behind him. And uh, he's got his fighting style itself isn't really that exciting, I wouldn't say. But I think Mitchell is gonna fucking take Ilya Tapuria down, 
and fucking slow cook his ass and cook him to the bone and eventually get I think he, I think he's gonna finish him. I think he's gonna get like a second or third round finish. Um like on the feet, I would agree that Tapuria has a huge advantage. But what maybe maybe I'm not remembering something, but what uh like in what fight or what opponent has Ilya had where he proved that he can fight off a skilled grappler like like Bryce Mitchell, who does have hands of his own. He's got he's got quick hands and and because Tapuria is going to be worried about the takedown, just like Edson Barbosa was worried about the takedown, that allowed that allowed Mitchell to come <coughs> with a straight right and knock him on his ass. I think the same exact fucking thing is going to happen. Um, is going to happen to Tapuria. Jackson is not. Jackson's a grappler, I guess. Yeah, he is, but he's not the level of Bryce Mitchell. I don't think. I think I think Bryce got better takedowns and better and and much better grappling. I think, um, but uh, but true, You're, that's that's just true. Nobody he did. Um, if Guru stops streaming, I would stop living. Um, well, he didn't stream yesterday, right? I felt, dude. I I don't even know if I should admit this, but I went down a bad rabbit hole pretty early last night, and um, and then I fell asleep pretty early. So I don't I don't think he went live or even posted any videos, but I went down a, a naughty rabbit hole on the internet. So I'm sure you guys can figure out what it was. There's only one rabbit hole you can go to on the internet. That's like the, an, the antithesis of, of what I try not to do, but I did. And I didn't even, I was, I jerked off for like two hours and I didn't, but I didn't jerk off. I didn't come. It's called head toy. Yeah. <laughs> it was it wasn't cartoons. No, 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 no. It was, it was, it was normal heterosexual, not cartoon people, promise. But uh, but it was still very fucking degenerate, and I felt so bad about myself. But I was I was glad that I didn't actually jizz because the last few days before that was yeah I went on such a good streak where I was like jerking off maybe once a week, for like a couple months. But I was actually backed up, and I needed a few days straight. And but yesterday was like the first day I didn't need it anymore. But I was like. But I was, it, once I start getting in the jerk off mode, I just keep, it's like my brain, like it's on my mind. And like, I have to make it 72 hours. If I make it 72 hours, then it's, it's so easy after that, since your last jerk off. And now I'm, I'm roughly 48 hours. So just tonight and one more day, and then I don't have to worry about it anymore. But because I got out so easily yesterday, like that gives me hope. Gives me a, a fucking yeah, jerking off. It's like the it's the hardest drug, to, like because you, you can't you can't quit it completely unless unless you're having like like coming. I just say coming, just just generic coming. You can't quit it completely as a male because we always have fucking sperm. But like it needs to come out, but it it can't come out too fast. <laughs> um, I mean it can, but then it, there's, a, there's a lot of negative side effects. For me, my the. There's a lot of side effects that I really don't like when I come too much, but the biggest physical one is that uh, that it it it, uh, it makes my my anemia way worse. Like, like if I jerk off five days in a row, like guaranteed, I'm gonna bruise the bottom of my foot just walking on the floor, um, shit like that. And uh, um, and then spiritually, it just robs me of fucking all my power, um, and that's the main reason why I don't like doing it. Um, no silly six so I would only do it two or three times a day when I wake up in the middle of the night or when I wake up in the middle of the night weed or masturbation weed or masturbation Lisa Riley or both or both Nazi rabbit hole it was not a Nazi rabbit hole a Nazi rabbit hole would be fucking that's not the antithesis of me first off and secondly I wouldn't be jerking off to that <laughs> um, but yeah yeah it was just a bad porn rabbit hole and, but I did, I didn't actually come, like I was really, really close so many times, but I actually didn't. And then I, and then I actually got bored of it. Maybe like, like I, that, that rarely happens. I, I just, I just took that as like a, a luck thing. But then I, then I fell asleep and then I woke up all fucking horny and shit, which, uh, it was hard to de horny myself as I was meditating. Like half of my meditation was me just thinking about sex for that shit. So pray for me today. Pray for me today. No, uh, Nubby, Lisa Riley is a woman, just like Chrissy J. <laughs> no, Loquacious, Chrissy J is a woman too. 
Um, and Nubby, I hear that Lisa Riley is in in the market for for a guy. She's a fi- Lisa Riley. Lisa Riley, do you watch do you watch Nubby MMA? If you don't watch Nubby MMA, his his cadence and the the way he does his videos is almost exactly like Guru, but like a younger, less ogreish version. So he might be up your alley. Uh-huh. Um. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, cocaine, cocaine. Okay. Worst hype trail trail derailment. Probably Curtis first Jack. Uh, 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 I wouldn't say Chris Curtis had like a crazy hype train behind him during that fight, but that was not a good look for him. Um, that's the thing, like, that's the thing with the Curtis Buckley fight is I think both those guys are like, they're, they're both like top 20 middleweights. Maybe top 25, but like once once they crack the rankings, those guys are going to have a really, really hard time beating most of the guys in the rating, rankings. But everyone below them, I feel like they fucking smash. Almost almost everyone, unless they're like a, like a high-level prospect, below them in the rankings, like below 20, uh, I feel like they, they, they murder them. And, and they're, Buckley's got the power advantage. And... Like Curtis, Curtis is going to have a striking advantage in the sense that he's going to be quicker and he's going to piece him up more. But I can see Buckley knocking him. Like Buckley maintains his power. That, that's one of my things that I really like about Joaquin Buckley is normally when guys are that big and that yoked and that jacked, they got one round, maybe a round and a half, and then their power is gone and done. Not with Buckley. Buckley's got, Buckley keeps his power up until the end of the fight. And I think Chris Curtis is going to be winning the fight the majority of the fight, for sure, standing up. But I don't know if he's good enough to not get to not get clipped really bad by Buckley. Like that's that is such a tough one to call. Like I think you have to lean Curtis just because because if it goes to decision, he's he's very likely going to win the decision. But but man, I just don't know if it's going to go to the decision. Um, but. Uh, but yeah, that, that, that fight is probably the one I'm looking... Stylistically, that fight is what I'm looking forward to the most. And then Ilya versus Bryce, I'm looking forward to the most in the sense that I'm very emotionally invested in Bryce as a fighter and as a person. Like I want him to be champion, and I do think he's one of the few guys in the division that could maybe give Volk some problems. Um, like just his sty- just, it's, it's just the style matchup. If he can get Volk down... If he can, that's a big if. But if he can, like that's an issue for Volk. Like if he can reliably do it, I can I can see him probably not submitting him, but you know d- just uh, laying on him for three of the five rounds and, and getting a close decision, I can fucking do it. I I can, I can fucking see it. Like it's not out of the possibility that Bryce Mitchell is featherweight champion at the end of the year or maybe like mid twenty twenty four, something like that. Um, like in a year, year and a half, if he keeps winning, he could be champion. Um, and I do believe that. I don't think the I don't think the odds on that are super high, maybe like twenty percent at the highest. But but it's there. It's definitely there, and that's exciting for me because I'm a huge Bryce Mitchell fan. Um, for all you who've never seen, uh, what's it called? Homegrown Fighter. Homegrown Fighter. It was like it was a series made like three years ago or something. Um, it, there's a little bit of TJ Brown in there, but it's most it's mostly Bryce Mitchell. Highly recommend that series. It just that series is what like really got me on the Bryce Mitchell. Um, that and some of his fights. Uh, but that's that's what I only do two or three times in the middle of the night. But cocaine? You only do cocaine two or three times in the middle of the night, Lisa Riley? Or do you only masturbate or only smoke weed or do you the, the smegma meth bowls? Like it, it, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, a flat earth. Yes. Uh, I wouldn't pull out of Lisa Riley plan B Ricard. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Lisa Riley would not want you to pull out toast. Ever been to Easter house in Glasgow? No, dude, I've never been, I've never been outside the United States. I've been all over the fucking United States from coast to coast, from North to all the way North to all the way South. I've been to a lot of States never fucking left the country um and i've been to islands too i've been to catalina island um 
And I've been to, the fuck is that called? Fashion Island? I mean, fashion, fashion Island in Seattle or in the Seattle area. Um, but I've never been like, so I've been technically outside of the continental United States, but still the United States, but I've never fucking, I've never left the country. That's because the United States is the best country and there's no reason for me to fucking leave. Um, sup, my boy, hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing good too, Toasty. Uh, hope, what, hope work wasn't too hard today. Uh, Alan takes Bryce. Does Alan have the takedown defense? Uh, and like in a three rounder, it's more likely. I wish the fucking Tapuria fight was five rounds. If it was five rounds, I would be 100% on the Bryce Mitchell train. I would be picking him 100% and I wouldn't even think about it. But the fact it's a three rounder, like I'm still probably going to take Bryce Mitchell, but I could see myself, uh, I could see myself changing the pick. I'm going to do a lot of research for this fight, um, most likely. And that fight is going to be one of the ones I really research. And if I, if I see things from Ilya that make me think that he could stuff Bryce's takedowns without any worry, then I would definitely go with Ilya in a three-rounder. Sadly, I, I don't want that to happen. I really, really want Bryce to win. Um, now, a pretty easy day. Just smash my shin in the first 20, 30 minutes. Uh, did you smash it against uh, Lisa Riley's fucking metal cooch? Just um, because I've done that before and it fucking hurts. Why do you guys ban me? I didn't ban you. Loquacious banned you, and I don't know why. Um, hold on. Yeah, Loquacious, why'd you ban? Why, why did why did you delete? Uh, hold on. No, if you deleted a message, Guru is like a follower to me. Uh, yeah, Loquacious, why did you? Uh, don't abuse your powers, please. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. MMA Guru, I didn't ban you. That was Loquacious. Take it up with him. Um, but, uh, what other fights were on there? Um, JP, because he's an annoying, but okay, but you can't, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, look, I just, but you can't, you can't, uh, you, you, you can't ban for that or you can't time out for that. That's not, uh, that's not how I want my channel run anyways. Although it's funny, it's funny, but, um, yeah, well, that's not my that's my it's not my style of of modding. Like I fucking let I let Chemp fucking um, I didn't let him. I was sleeping, but he was posting poop pics allegedly in the Discord and deleting them. But the thing is, I don't know. There's only two rules in the Discord, and he didn't break either of the rules. No gore, poop isn't gore. It's gross. You don't want to see it, but it's not gore. And no gay shit, no porn, nothing, like, and it's not that either. So unless he's posting someone pooping on someone else, if it's just poop in a toilet, I don't know if that's a punishable offense. So I'm like, so people were telling me to do something. I'm like, I don't know if I can in that scenario. You know, I, I try to, I try to uh, um, like moderate as little as fucking possible. Only when the, when the rules are broken and there's only two rules. Um, uh, loquacious, you should learn some manners. Ooh, uh, MMA guru getting uh, getting a, a little feisty with loquacious. He will probably ban you again, so um, I would be careful with that. I just bet five hundred on Rosas and Goliath and Billy Q while taking a steamy hot shit at work. Uh, good good luck, Cheddarhead. I think I I just saw the thing. I forgot who Billy's fighting. I for, can you let me know who Billy's fighting? But I'm pretty sure I saw it and I thought Billy was going to win. Ankalaev is, I don't want to call him a lock, but fucking Dagestani Cho Guzzler, you know, like I'm, I'm going to go with Ankalaev for sure, even though I really want Yon to win. Really, really want Yon to win. You got to go with Ankalaev in that scenario. And, uh, and Rosas versus Jay Perrin, that's the one where I don't know because I think Rosas is fucking dog shit, dude. He's beyond dog shit for a UFC fighter. For a 17-year-old fucking inbred native guy, he's, he's good. He's like a really good prospect for someone who's 17 years old. But he's got zero stand-up. His stand-up makes uh, Claudio Puelas look like he has stand-up. You know, he's like that, le that level but worse. And... Um, I don't know, Shredder Head. Like, that's a that's a fucking tough one. So, what what are the odds on that on that parlay? Um, 
Shutter head because Ankaliyev. I haven't. I haven't checked the odds on any of the fights so far. I'm guessing Ankaliyev is like at least two to one. He's probably like a minus two. I would. I would put him at like minus two fifteen or something like that. Um, but maybe it's. I can see it being more because he's Dagestani, and I could also see it being less because Jan is a lot more proven. Um, so I don't know. And and Billy Quarantillo. I forgot who he's fighting. Um, so I can't give. I can't give a thing on that. And then Rosa's Perrin. I I know I've seen Jay Perrin fight before. I can't fucking remember the fight though. Like I genuinely don't know. Um, I've never seen Rosa's fight with that. <laughs> oh, plus two fifty. Okay, dude, that's Cheddarhead. Uh, if, if Jay Perrin has no takedown defense and he's really bad at uh, at counter grappling, he's gonna get submitted really quickly. But Rosas does not know how to like. He looks like a women's fighter standing up. It's t- it's beyond garbage, and it's not his fault. He's 17 years old. He should not be in the UFC. He's not good enough to be in the UFC. Oh, Billy Q's fighting uh, Fluffy. Okay. Um, Hernandez has a chance in there. Like, I'm gonna go Billy Q too, but Hernandez does have a chance for sure. Like, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that's a lock. Uh, good luck, Cheddarhead. That's a good luck. Uh, lots of good luck to you, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna hit. There, there's two out of the three. I'm like, uh, like Billy. I, th- I think Billy Q is relatively safe, and Ankaliyev are relatively safe. And then Rosas. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe if you can cancel it out and take out Rosas and add someone else, because the Rosas like. He's too young, I think, to to uh, to put that amount of money on. To put him in a parlay, maybe put him in a single, maybe bet on him singular. But he he strikes me as a fucking parlay destroyer. I live rent free, and Loquacious didn't even say shit to him. Um, uh, apparently so. Um, he fought that Korean dude, or Mongolian, or Japanese, or Thai. Who did? Who did? Who did toast? Um, Billy Q. Uh, I I actually really do like Nubby, but I don't know what he's talking about because I don't know <laughs> UFC the sport. Well, Guru talks about UFC too, so I don't um, like. It's no different. They they both talk about the same shit. So if you like Guru, like Nubby's an like Nubby is an American. Nubby lives on the continent that you that you currently live in, Lisa Riley. So so you have a better chance with Nubby than you do with, with Guru. And Guru's way too scared to talk to girls. Um, but is Nubby old enough? He's old enough as long as you don't tell anyone that you had sex with him. And then he's definitely old enough. Yeah, Alex Hernandez. Uh, uh, Alex Hernandez or Anthony? Aren't those two different fighters? I think. Um, but uh, um, yeah, uh, yeah. Perrin versus 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 inbred motherfucker. I, I have to I have to watch Perrin's last fight to like to to re up my mind on like to remember who the fuck he is. I wish I had Guru's mind. Um, I just turned eighteen. Then you're okay, dude. Then you're okay, Nubby. I mean, Nubby's on the West Coast. I'm pretty sure. So Nubby, if you're still in chat, maybe maybe DM Lisa Riley and and give her your your ASL. Um, did you get groomed by Guru Lisa? Uh, I think Guru would be way too. I think Lisa wants to get groomed by Guru, but I don't think Guru. He'd have too much anxiety, even even um, even just talking to a girl online, or you know, someone who he thinks is a girl online. Uh, thoughts on crypto? I have mixed feelings on it i i was on the crypto bandwagon i swear to god when it was like at 200 300 before there were even exchanges my friend told me about it in like 2010 maybe maybe 2011 and i was begging him i'm like dude how the fuck do i get on this shit like because there, there weren't exchanges at the time um i was like how do, how do you get one of these and like he was he was very he was really he was very bearish on crypto at the time which I'm still pissed off at him to this day because I would be fucking, I'd be well off right now if I was able to buy crypto when I wanted to. Um, but I remember like when it, when I learned about it, it was fluctuating between like one and $900 and it keeps getting more and more and more. But the thing is, 
if crypto if crypto hypothetically is something that that would take over normal currency i think that's a terrible horrible horrible thing um because then the market is just the market's already manipulated anyways it's literally exactly like the stock stock market like it's entirely a thousand percent manipulated thing there's nothing natural to it whatsoever and and if that and if any country i think some countries have made bitcoin like like part of their official uh, like one of their official currencies i'm not sure i think some smaller countries have but once you do that you're fu- like it's terrible absolutely terrible but as long, like as long as it stays in the realm that it is it's like a, a money alternative then i like it then, then I, i'm very pro crypto as long as long as the dollar stays the dollar and like other currencies stay the way they are then i'm pro crypto but if crypto starts taking over those currencies then i'm very 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 anti crypto like i could not be more anti it because that's to me that that's like that's like prime breeding ground for one world government shit. Oh, we're all just going to be on Bitcoin now. Oh shit, Bitcoin's $1000 instead of fucking $30,000. You know what I mean? Like that that's what I worry about with crypto. Um but I but I was pro crypto fucking 12 years ago. Um but like the concept of it is is genius for sure. Um she does not use public transit. Uh Lisa Riley doesn't. Um who doesn't oh cuz of the bus stop gotcha here we go good joke that took me a second um guru the type of guy to pull his pants down uh to his feet just to pee i do that sometimes too and i'm a guru and here's the reason why it's not cuz i'm fat and it's uh these aren't elastic but um i my my entire life i i wore mostly mostly basketball shorts and if you wear all an elastic shit around your bent like around your waist like it can it can have an effect on how you pee and shit and i was having massive problems with peeing like 5 years ago cuz i didn't know this and i'd only wear basketball shorts um this is why i stopped wearing basketball shorts so much um but anyways like like it's easier for me to pee if there's like nothing around my legs so a lot of times i will drop them or I'll, I'll just take them off completely and th- and just throw them away um to pee because it's easier for me to pee although the issues The issues have gone down like 90% since I stopped wearing basketball shorts too much. But if you guys wear basketball shorts a lot, fuck, it's it's not healthy for you. It's like it it um it, like it cuts off circulation to to some part of your bladder. It makes it really fucking hard to pee sometimes. And I was I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, like the worst, I think I was like 27 or 28 and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm in my 20s. Why am I having a hard time peeing? Um and and just just by happenstance like i went to my friend's house and she was like she's like i noticed you're always in fucking basketball shorts she's like don't you have trouble peeing and i'm like yeah <laughs> how do you know and she's like she's like yeah i don't wear those anymore like, okay and i listened and she was right um 13 he she utah yes that is that is uh that is nubby's age and and uh his pronouns he she he prefers he prefers he or she he hates they though don't call him they only call him he or she and you tell i'm not sure if he's in utah or not i thought he was in california um i i remember him saying he was visiting salt lake city and because he said that that made me think that he's not from utah because if you if you are from utah visiting salt lake city isn't going to be a big thing cuz a you probably live near it and b if you don't like you're going to go there often anyways cuz it's like the fucking mormon mecca so so that makes me think I'm that makes me think he's not in utah but i could be wrong i don't know i have an outrageous amount of crypto trapped in an app that's going bankrupt yes uh what uh that sucks chatterhead i'm sorry um yeah do uh i lost $16,000 on crypto because I didn't fully know I didn't lose it. I didn't put in $16,000. I put in 4,000 and it went up to 16,000. And now it's I still have some but it's down to fucking double digits. So um cuz I cuz I I didn't know what I was doing really at the time. This was back in 2017, I think. Like like the 2017 bull run, like I made so much money and I wanted to cash out but i didn't know how i didn't understand the concept of uh 
of of all of uh, not all coins of tether and shit and um and so it all just, like i i lost twelve thousand in a day i remember it went from sixteen thousand to four thousand in a day and and uh the one i had most of it was T trx um i think it's still going on but trx it's a fucking piece of shit coin but there was like there was all this fucking this this hype around the the creator of trx um not TR, TRX, Tron. I think it's called Tron. Maybe it's TRN, TRX, TRN, something like that. Um, at at, at uh, 12 p.m. Jan January 1st, like the new year, 2018, there was, he was gonna, he was gonna have a, a video chat thing with a bunch of people and like he was gonna promote it or whatever. And like, and, and in the month leading up to it, like it kept getting more and more and more and more. And then the, and the time hit, and then his video chat thing was like the dumbest, stupidest thing. And I wanted to take my money out immediately, but I couldn't. And literally, like, I, I clicked on my thing. It was 12,000. Like, a minute later, I clicked on it again. Uh, I, it was 16,000. I clicked on it again. It was 12,000. I was like, fuck. I clicked on it again. It was fucking 8,000. And I was like, fuck. So I, I just turned it off. And I was like, oh, this is fucking terrible. Um, but that was me just being retarded and not knowing what the fuck to do. Um, uh... But yeah, why am I so annoying to you? Let me know. Let's squash this. Yes, yeah, squash it. Squash it. Uh, yes, uh, donations. Cash app six soul. I could use a donation. I literally have two dollars in my bank account right now. Um, uh, Cheddarhead got his cheeks clapped by Sam Bankman Freed. I don't know who that is. I have no idea who that is. Yep, sure did that fucking Jew Sam Bankman rate my asshole. I don't know who that is, but Bankman is a very very Jewish name. I am anti L G B C D E F G. Uh, I'm pretty sure we all are toast. Like that's that's what. Other than I think Mr. Gapier, I think that's what binds all of Guru Salim together. It's like the one common thread. Is well, two common threads. We like to make fun of Guru, and we like his impressions, and and we're all very much anti degeneracy, uh, especially when the, when that degeneracy forms groups and spreads their degeneracy towards others and packages it as, as not only okay, but as like the proper alternative, like the moral alternative. I just hate how they fucking do that. You know, it's like, if you wanna be gay, fucking be gay, but don't convince other people to be gay, you fucking degenerate. Like that's, that's my stance. Um, ever poop standing up? Yes, David Icke, not completely. So I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you, uh, what's it called? A demonstration. So. You ever been to a toilet stall in uh, a public toilet stall and you look down and the, and the, it, even, even with the paper shit on it, like it's fucking disgusting. There's pee and shit stain on all of it, but you have to poop and you're like, fuck, what am I going to do? What you do is if uh, you take your, either your pants or if you're wearing a shirt or jacket or whatever, whatever it is, you take, you take whatever it is and you, and you hang it over, you know, there's usually uh, like a little hook on the door for, for like your clothes and shit, for your pants. Um, almost all stalls have like a hook. So what you do is you hook your pants around the hook and then you like, you hold, like you're holding it and then you use that to like balance yourself as you're hovering over the toilet and take a shit. So while it's not like officially standing up, that's not like standing straight up and taking a shit. Like I am squatting, but like I'm, I am standing up though. Like my feet are on the ground and like all my weight is supported by my hands and feet. I'm not sitting on anything. Um, I've done that a few times, not lately, but uh, I have done that a few times. Um, Nubby, how much do you like Lisa Riley? How much do you like Lisa Riley, Nubby? We all need to know, even though I'm pretty sure you're not here anymore. That was a psyop from the Pussad to get you started wearing slacks. Wait, what was a psyop? I'm confused. I'm confused what that's uh, referring to. A psyop from the Pusad to get you start wearing slides? Are you talking about? I have no idea what you're referring to, Washington. Can you clarify? I'm probably just retarded. Um, I'm LJBT and the J stands for Jewish lover. <laughs> Lesbian, Jewish, bi, and more Jewish. Um, where can I find a man in a chair of wheels? uh guru shed um if if you were determined enough i'm pretty sure you could figure out where guru lives it's like 
he's given enough clues, given enough hints where you could you could get close. You can fucking get close, I'm pretty sure. If you really, really want to know, but you'd have to travel all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. And um and uh I just realized I called the Atlantic the the Pacific Ocean. I think yesterday. I just remembered that now I feel like an idiot. Um but uh yeah, what were you talking about, Washington? I don't know. Uh, I have no idea what you're referring to. Um, I don't know what to play. Basketball shorts. Oh, okay, gotcha. That was a sign up from the to get you start wearing slacks. Okay, I I gotcha. So I don't wear slacks. I don't wear shorts. I just I wear trunks now. These are these are trunks, swimming trunks, and there's no elastic on it. It's just a tie thing, um, and that's what I wear like 95% of the time, um, like when I'm home, and then when I'm out. I just I just wear like normal shorts, like fucking shorts, um, but not nothing with elastic and not nothing with elastic. I still have some elastic shit, but it's like it's really fucking rare that I wear it because um, it was so fucking annoying to to uh, to try to pee when you can't. Like I I felt like I was at least fifty five years old trying to pee sometimes, and um, and I don't know about you guys, but like when I smoke too much weed, it's hard to pee. And it has always been that way for me. Like if I smoke a lot of weed, which doesn't happen anymore that much, but if I do, um, it's, it's, I don't know why, but it's really hard to fucking pee. And, uh, and I don't need to add more to the fucking, I'm too young to having, to be having, uh, pee issues. Hit play, play, hit the road, Jack. I don't know the chords to that. I can, I can, uh, David, if you look up the chords to hit the road jack and tell me what they are, I can probably do it. If they're if they're simple chords, anyways. Slide from fifth fret B string to third fret. So, okay. <laughs> like that. Or two th or three two pull up or. Don't you come back, you jerk. Um, but uh, I might be remembering wrong. Would you just look it up? Just fucking look it up. Like I, I can't look shit up right now, Sally. Yeah, I'll look it up when I'm when I when I'm done. Like I used to know how to play so many fucking songs, but like. Yeah, it's been years and years and years since since I've actually like consistently played this shit. But now that I am, it will only take me a few weeks and I'll like you'll see the improvements rapidly. I already feel like I'm better than I was when I started. Like I my my uh my calluses are already coming back. Cause it's all coming back to me. If you hold me like this. Touch me like that, da -da 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 -da. but it's all coming back to me. Did musical inspire me to start playing guitar more? Uh, not directly. Like I didn't see musical playing and be like, oh, I want to, I want to get back into that. But 
I watched his streams and like, and I was thinking like, it would be not, like, it's a, when there's a lull, it's nice to just pick up a guitar and just start playing some random shit for, uh, instead of just me like trying to think of something to say to the camera, I just pick up the guitar and fucking start going. So I just felt like it was a good idea to incorporate into the stream, make it a little bit more uh, multimedia, multifaceted, interactive type thing. Um, I'm out of Hennessy. Are you already fucking drinking toast? It's it's 440 and it's 440 where you are right now, right? In central time in, in Houston. What the hell, dude? <laughs> Jeez, I, I am I am counting the, the minutes until I can smoke weed. Although I won't be smoking weed until 730. No, most of the time when almost every single fucking day I what uh that I do NBA bed uh, the fantasy betting. Um it almost always starts at seven, but today it starts at seven thirty. So, so at seven, that's when I'll be do. That's when I'll start the the process of fantasy betting, and I won't do. It. And I, I won't smoke a bowl until after that. Some sometimes I do better on my bets when I'm high. Sometimes I'm better when I'm sober. But I like because of that. I like doing it sober, just so like I don't ever get into the point get into the mindset that like, oh, I need to be this level of high before I bet anything. Cause I've gotten, I've gotten to that point before. There was a few times where like, I got a crazy streak of wins and it's cause I was, I was high every time and I was in the same spot, but then I couldn't get to that same level of high anymore because of a different strain of weed. Um, and then my bets went to shit and like, it's just not good to rely on that for anything, I think. Um, so these days, Unless the bet is super late, unless it's super late at night, um, I try to make my bets sober, um, which I probably have a slightly less good win percentage when I'm sober versus high. I feel like when I'm high, like like the boundaries of my brain kind of kind of erode a little bit, and I'm more able to to pick up pieces from the future or like pick pieces of information um, that I wouldn't have otherwise. But like I said, I don't want to rely. I don't ever want to rely on that especially since my end goal hopefully is to fucking stop smoking. If I didn't smoke and smoke weed, I'd be a completely sober human being. And I want to, I wanted to be a completely sober human being for a very long time now. Um, but I, I just value my sleep too much. And it is really fun. Weed is just fun. Um, I've smoked weed almost every single day other than that, other than that 10 month break and a few, like a few week long breaks and maybe like a month long break here and there along the way. So let's call it, let's call it like, like 18 and a half of the last 20 years, every day I've smoked weed. So, and a lot of those days was, it was all day every day, not, not anymore, but, um, and it never got to the point where I was like, Oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, no, it's always fun. It's always fun. As long as the weed you have is good. A bell is no bell till you ring it. A song is no song until you sing it. Uh, and love in your heart wasn't put there to stay. Love isn't love till you give it away. My favorite poem, it reminds me of Guru. Uh, I think you I think you might be posting under the wrong alt, MMA Guru. I th that sounds like a Lisa Riley thing to say, but thank you. Um, Toast use mouthwash has alcohol in it. Oh, oh my God, David Icke, have you heard the song? Have you heard the song, uh, What About Mouthwash? If you haven't heard the song, What About Mouthwash? Write it down right now, put, or go into another tab on your, on your phone or your, key, or your computer. Type in What About Mouthwash, Trevor Moore. One of my favorite comedy songs ever. Rip Trevor Moore, fucking rip. He's one of my favorite, favorite human beings ever. He's like, if you guys never seen Whitest Kids You Know, it's easily the greatest sketch show of all time. People say Dave Chappelle, Chappelle show is greatest sketch show of all time. That's because they haven't seen Wise Kids You Know. Wise Kids You Know, thousand times better. And I really like Chappelle show. Um, but Wise Kids You Know, their skits were so fucking far out there and so fucking like, like they wouldn't be allowed to do it today at all. Like they'd be canceled immediately. But they they were so far out there and the and so a lot of times they were really violent or really sexual and really gross but fucking hysterical. Um, but then uh, Trevor had a solo career where he just did he just did comedy songs and stuff. And What About Mouthwash is my favorite Trevor Moore song by a mile. And he's got a lot of good ones. 
But what about mouthwash? Is this a song about about a guy and his cousin after work going to a gas station and and they can't get alcohol because it's too late and they don't sell alcohol anymore. So he gets mouthwash instead. And it's a fucking beautiful song, man. It's such a good what about mouth I wish I had the chords. What about mouthwash? What about huffing paint? You can't you don't need ID to buy it. And you can't arrive too late. What about mouthwash? Or even hand sanitizer. When the police pull you over, they won't be none the wiser before we count this night off as a loss. What about mouthwash? It's a country song. So. Um, but I fucking love that song, man. Fucking love that song. Listen to that song. You'll like it. Beta toast, not drinking at 9 a.m. <laughs> yeah, we, we know we know. email likes his morning beers. Um, which, uh, and we know I am very anti-alcohol. Dude, like, I was like, if you are going to drink, like, don't drink beer. Like, alcohol is so estrogenic and will turn you into a fucking female over time. But beer will do that like 10 times faster, especially hot. And if you have to do beer, do like a shitty like Keystone fucking Natty Ice, like Takati, something like really, really not flavorful at all. Like the less the least amount of hops possible because hops are super estrogenic. Um, like I see stuff at the market called hop water. That's like it's water, but there's hops in it and it's flavored other shit. I'm like, why the fuck would I drink that? It doesn't make sense. Maybe, maybe if I was like trying to quit alcohol or something, but other than that, like, I don't know why I would want to drink that. Like if I was an alcoholic, I would drink alcohol. And if you don't drink, why the fuck would you want that? Like it, it doesn't t like, it can't taste very good. Um, I usually drink right after work till about midnight. Jesus toast. So, so from like five to midnight, you're just drinking, dude. That's insane. That's insane. Dude, toast, toast. Can't you find some ketamine? Can't you find some fucking ketamine in there uh, in, in, in Houston? Like ketamine's so much fucking better than alcohol in every single fucking way. It's like, it's not even comparable. It's not even like, do some, like you have the money. I'm sure you have the means, fucking get some ketamine. I promise you, you'll have a better time. Um, true tradesman right there with you, Elia, bro, bro. Um, to the liquor store being sober sucks uh i'm sober right now uh although some people would say i'm not because i have smoked weed in the past 24 hours um and it's like like i don't truly start feeling sober when i quit weed for like probably like two days afterwards so maybe technically i'm not like fully 100 percent sober but i haven't taken anything today uh, including caffeine including alcohol including any drugs um, seltzer makes you gay? No, I think sparkling water makes you gay. But, the, but I think I think San Pellegrino and uh, what's the other one? Lacroix and there's, there's an uh, Perrier, P Perrier, Perrier, whatever it's called. Those make you gay because they're thin little tiny bitch bubbles that fucking go flat in a few minutes. Uh, that shit a thousand percent makes you gay. But seltzer, seltzer is thick like seltzer and club soda and shit like that. It's like super, super fucking thick, fizzy drinks. I don't think that makes you gay at all because like, I feel like you gotta be a man to get that shit down. That's what I like. I love fucking um, pol polar seltzer is really fucking good. And uh, Topo Chico, I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's a lot of Topo Chico where you're at toast. It's really rare in Cleveland. Um, but whenever I find a Topo Chico, I fucking go straight for the fucking Topo Chico. Um, because the bubbles are so fucking thick and crisp and it feels so good going down your fucking throat. Um, like, I love that shit, actually. So I don't think that shit makes you gay. I think I think the little bitch bubbles make you gay. The San Pellegrino bitch bubbles. Um, I fucking hate the little bitch bubbles. Uh, because, like, once a carbonated beverage goes flat, it tastes like shit. So you want that beverage to be as carbonated as fucking possible. Um, so the little tiny little fizzy things, I, I cannot stand. Um, I don't know, this hen dog get me right, especially off a of bean. Dude, I'm too old to uh, 
uh, to know what that fucking means. Like, <laughs> can you can you say that in not fucking slang because I'm old? Um, can confirm about K. Thank you, Paul Dory. Like, like just a, th a threshold level of, of ketamine is a lot like being drunk, but it's so much fucking better. It's just so much fucking better. It's like, it's like a cross between being drunk and being high and like a little bit of like a psychedelic and like maybe like a little bit of an opiate all mixed in one. Um, yeah, dude, dude, I miss ketamine. Oh my God, I miss ketamine so fucking much. It's been, it's been like eight months since I've done it and I just fucking want to do it. Like, ah. Uh, my favorite drug of all time, for sure. Beats the fucking hell out of any other drug I've tried. But there are, there are ketamine isomers or different or ketamine. Um, uh, I forgot another word for isomer. Um, there are ones that are like that are way more hallucinogenic, and that sounds like it'd be even better than ketamine. But uh, but yeah, ket ketamine's it's it's a beautiful it's an absolutely beautiful drug. Are the rumors true about soy? Uh, you mean about soy uh, ruining your your hormones? A thousand percent, yes. I went vegan multiple times, um, but I remember uh, the longest time I went vegan, uh, like for like the first four months or so, I didn't work out because I was like, because it, it was hard enough to get the calories and shit just like being sedentary. Like I didn't want to like start working out again. And then once I did start working out, I was like, I'm going to need to up the protein and I have like no other sources of protein I can, I can eat. Um, cause my body can't tolerate beans and lentils and shit. Um, so I was like, fuck, I'll just fucking eat some tofu. Cleveland has the best fucking tofu in the entire world too. Cleveland tofu genuinely is the best. Every other tofu, it tastes like fucking nothing. It's just like, it's literally nothing. It's whatever you fucking flavor it with. Um, but Cleveland tofu has a fucking flavor and it's delicious, but, um, but I noticed like when I started working out and then I'd eat tofu, like I could feel it in my muscles and I could literally see it. Like it would have a negative effect, effect, like, like my muscles wouldn't build up anymore. Um, and I, and, and like, it, yeah, it fucks up your horn and it, and it makes you like, if you don't want to be, if you're ever super horny and you don't want to be horny, just eat a bunch of soy. It will, it will lower your sex drive so quickly. It's, it's crazy how, how much um, it affects your, your sex drive and your hormones like it's really fucking bad for you i soy is the number one thing i avoid in everything i don't eat if, if something has tofu or anything like that in it i don't eat it at all and if there's like soybean oil or, or vegetable oil or anything i don't eat it at all and like the only soy things are like or like if it's at the very 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 end of the ingredients list and it's like a tiny little bit of soy lecithin or whatever the fuck that shit's called I, that shit's bad for you too but if it's if it's a product i really like like i'll make an exception but like 95% of the soy shit I see, I read on the ingredients label, fucking toss it. Like I, I won't do it. Um, like I don't have the testosterone to spare. You know, I can't be fucking with that shit. Sparkling wool. -ah. What's up? What's up, Loquacious? Good to have you back. Bean equals Xan. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That makes sense. Um, dude, Xanax is... Dude, ketamine, billion times better over Xanax. Xanax, all Xanax does is make you groggy. Like that's all I found. It, it makes you tired and groggy and like it will amplify like any high or drunk, any, any other drug for sure. But dude, get some fucking cat. If you're doing Xanax and alcohol, I promise you toast. I promise you, you're going to have such a better time doing ketamine because there's so many different experiences you can have while, ket while doing ketamine. Each, each kind of uh, level, each threshold is so wildly different than the other one. It's like, it's such a moving target that, that is always fun, no matter what. Like, I've never done ketamine and not thoroughly enjoyed it. It's it's a fucking beautiful. But I've only done it like maybe a dozen times. Um, but uh, but I it, like if if I had a supply of ketamine on me, like I have a supply of mushrooms on me that's like that will last for fucking ever because they don't like no one's fucking taking them. Um, and I do it like once every couple of months, maybe. And, uh, but if I had a, so if I had a supply of, like that of ketamine, I'd be doing it like once a week, probably, um, maybe once every other week. Um, I wouldn't be doing it every day. Cause like it would, it would create an issue. Like I would, I would only want to, I would be, I would want to stay in the K hole for like all time. That'd be like, that's like actually the dream is <laughs> just fucking just stay in a fucking K hole. Uh, this girl I dated, 
Uh, she said it was a fucking nightmare. She she did so much that she got stuck in limbo, and for what for, from her perspe- perception, it fe- felt like forever, and it was like really traumatic for her. But for me, like like I remember like watching the movie Inception and like and uh, and the main characters got stuck in limbo. I'm like that seems fucking awesome, dude. Like sign me up for limbo, man. Like fucking sign me up. You don't have to. F- you don't have to worry about like fucking normal everyday shit and you can just fucking create what the fuck you want and like and just trip out and but it's like a but it's like a 3d interactive trip where you can do shit and you're there with with your fucking lover like god damn like i would be there alone that's what like so that's another reason why i like how because if you do too much you just get stuck in limbo which a lot of people that's like hell for me that'd be like that'd be fucking perfect so awesome um uh let's see you haven't had a drink since july i feel better stronger more endurance training recommend trying dude yeah uh harold i i don't know if you saw my drunk stream last month but but i i drank one time in the past year and that was a month ago um and i don't that, that's my rule now i drink once a year just fucking once a year to remind myself why i don't drink um and since i stopped drinking i feel so much better like like my mind's clearer my body looks better my skin looks better my skin isn't like in the winter time it's really really tough to drink because it dries out your skin i mean in cleveland it depends on where you live but in cleveland it gets really fucking dry um and alcohol does not sit well with that um but yeah like like alcohol it just look it makes you more emotional it raises your estrogen like it's just fucking terrible derivatives fdck to fdck yes i need to try that polidori i want to try that so fucking bad um ever assaulted a tramp no, I don't think I've ever assaulted anyone. No, that's a lie. I've assaulted, I only have assaulted anyone that wasn't a family member. I don't think, I don't think. Um, but like, like, like unprovoked, definitely not unprovoked. I haven't insulted anyone, period, unprovoked. But uh, no, I don't think so. But yeah, Paul Dory, I yeah, I asked like, if you, if you can find where to get that, please, please let me know. Because I, yeah, I want to try some, some ketamine derivatives and like, and see what the fucking see what the fucking deal is, you know? Because ketamine itself is fucking awesome, and I know there's drugs better than ketamine. Um, oh, Guru just did uh, a clips channel, um, a clips channel that I probably won't be watching. Um, vegans, the only beta who flavored their fake meat as meat. Uh, do oh, toast wants to see you. Your toast favorite, right? Say hi. Thank you. He loves you, Toast. He fucking loves you. All right. Um, where was I? Where was I? Uh, yeah, dude, the vegan fake meat is so bad for you. Like the fact that vegans think Beyond Meat and Impossible Burger is better for you. It like they they feel like they're doing they're doing a service to the world and the, and their bodies by eating that shit. That's fucking insane, dude. That was not the type of vegan I was. I tried those things because I, my body was absolutely craving meat. Um, cause my body literally needs beef. I just fucking need it. Um, cause my anemia and I didn't learn that until I went vegan, but, um, uh, uh, they're trying to make everything vegan to make us soy. Well, well they're trying, well, they put soy in everything to make us fucking soy. You know what I mean? Like, um, I don't eat food if it contains soy either. Yes. Uh, I think it made me more aggressive because of higher G. Um, yeah, probably. Probably just like soy will mellow you, mellow you out. It will lower your, your testosterone. It will lower your sex drive. It will lower your anger. Um, so depending on what you're looking for, it could be good or bad. But for me, um, even though I eat a little bit of soy, like I notice it kind of like smooths out my muscles. Like it's not good. Like, like you need more testosterone to like fucking uh, like have the muscles fucking like be taut and bulge out and shit. And like, I need the, I need the optics in my favor as much as possible, as skinny as I am. <laughs> so, so I stay the fuck away from soy. Toast, you should make Xanax and shrooms. I've never done that. I've never done that. Um, but I, ha- but I, but I don't have to remember anything. Uh, Larry, shut the fuck up. Okay. I gotta, I gotta open this for Larry. You fucking retard. You cute little retard. Yeah, okay, I did it. For, I did it for you. Okay. I did it for you. Um, um, but I don't have to remember anything. True, on Xanax, you don't have to remember shit. But like that that's what I don't like about it. It's like 
like I want to remember my trip and shit. David Ike, I've done LSD and perks. Uh, I can see that being good. I can see that being good. Do you drink every day toast? Uh, base, base, base. I mean, it's base, but it's also uh, like you're just making yourself a woman at doing that, but to each his own or her own, I should say. Uh, I'll ship Nubby some Zans and perks right now. Dude, that would be fucking hilarious. Um, he needs a role model. Uh, if Nubby got on Zans, he would make such better content. Uh, it depends. Good job, Bobby. Good job. Um, it depends on how much he do. If he did like enough where, where it didn't slow down his speech too much, I think it could help, but I feel like Nubby would go crazy with that shit. Um, was he from East Cleveland? Was who I'm, I'm kind of far back, but, uh, was he from East Cleveland? Uh, I don't know who he is, but, uh, I don't, uh, when is Nubby getting my first down? Okay. <laughs> um larry bear yes larry bear he's he's the greatest bear now people would be less retarded on xanax <laughs> um possibly i think we should i think we should all like i'll send i'll send nubby some mushrooms i have a whole bunch of spare i'll send nubby some mushrooms toast can send him some some alcohol and some xanax and some perks and uh and um i don't know someone else can offer um something else and we can just get uh we can get nubby uh, crunk for the first time and that would help him handle his stepdad brutally molesting him all the time like he, he needs something to fucking take him away right my girlfriend is mad at me and she's coming at five pray for me um it is five wait i i could be wrong polidori don't you live like in the central time zone if i'm wrong um but, uh, but yeah, I pray for you, Paul Dory. That sucks. Uh, angry girlfriends. If your girlfriend, no, whatever mood your girlfriend is in, that's the mood you're going to be in. You know, like, like happy wife, happy life is a stupid saying, but it's true. Good job, Larry. Good job. That didn't need to be there. Um, toast via engine oil. No, 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 no. No, en engine oil is banned. Uh, if you're going to fight Larry, it's going to be fair and square. Fist to paws and the paws are going to win. Thoughts on climate change. Dude, I have, like, climate is changing. Like, that, that's not a hoax. Climate is changing for sure. You can't deny it. Like, just living in Ohio the last five years, I've noticed a change. And, um, and like, if you, if you uh, like, if you research islands and communities that live right on the coastline and shit, like a lot of them are having massive issues and, and a shitload of, uh, of, of villages in Siberia are having terrible issues because they built their houses on permafrost and that permafrost is melting. Um, so climate change is real. Like that's not, that's not a hoax, but, but what is causing climate change? I don't know, is it, is it caused by humans? I, I think probably, but the thing is that they try to pawn that responsibility off on the individual, like on me and you and like individual humans and like, you should lower your carbon footprint and all that, that stupid bullshit that, that, uh, that Loke and, uh, and Rigo, the, the fucking, they're, they're Chinese puppets. They love that shit. They, I think they already started that. Maybe Sweden did too. It's like your social credit score is also part of it. It's like your carbon footprint and shit, but Individual humans are not contributing to climate change. The only one, like it, it's fucking, it's the companies, it's the industries, it's like the fucking rubber companies, like blowing up smoke. It's it's companies, I think. If if it is human made at all, which I don't know if it is or not, I lean towards yes, but just because I've seen all the pollution in Cleveland and I know how it's supposed to look and, and I know how it does look, so. So I lean towards I lean towards humans are causing it, but it's not on an individual level. It's not me fucking. It's like those fucking retards. Oh my god, the retards. The, the if it's yellow, let it mellow. Retards that only flush it. The flush the toilet uh, when there's poop in there. Fuck, I fucking hate those people, man. Like they don't understand, and and like they they think they're a good person because they're like saving water, but that's not how it fucking works. Like it's not how it works and you're just making everyone smell your nasty SP. Uh, I had an issue with that roommates a long time ago and it infuriated me to no end. And and they were the fucking liberal, stupid, gay ass fucking type that would 
that like that pat them. And this is what this is why liberals fucking suck. This is why I hate liberals more than conservatives. Because I wouldn't consider myself conservative, even though a lot of my views are pretty conservative. I'm definitely not conservative just because the two-party system is really fucking lame. Um, but the reason why liberals suck is that any they're so easily manipulated. Anything that they can attach their self-worth to, like I'm a good person, they're gonna they're gonna be pro pro it. So so so, so for like like wearing a max mask with COVID and getting the vaccines, like do it for your grandma. They're like, oh, I'm a good person. Pat on the back. Or, uh, or, or gay love, like everyone should be, should have love. I'm a good person because I support that. Or, or Black Lives Matter, I support that. It, it's all just a manipulation, man. It's, it's all just to make yourself feel good because you know deep down you're not a good person. You know, like you wouldn't have to fucking do that if you were an actual good person. And that's why I fucking hate them so much. And like, and they're also like about the environment and shit. Like, I'm like, uh, the, bothers me to no end and in my circles like i i'm in a couple different spiritual circles and a couple of them are just they're so fucking disgustingly for lack of the word like hippie hippie-esque like that and it makes me want to fucking puke but they have good information so like i'm not going to throw the baby out with the bathwater. but really i think it's i think it's a massive detriment to spirituality to to be liberal um because it, it reward, because it inherently makes you reward yourself for nothing, for literally nothing, for being like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. I'm a good person. Like, no, you're fucking not. You are fucking not. Like, oh, I'm reducing my carbon footprint. I'm making a difference. No, you're not. Not at all. Um, electric cars are a scam, right? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't think they're a scam. How are they a scam? I think, I mean, I don't know a bunch about electric cars, but like eventually fossil fuels are going to run out. I don't know when, but eventually they're going to run out and we're going to need an alternative fuel source. And that alternative fuel source could easily be water that they figured out. I think like 50 years ago, they figured out how to how to run a car on water and they figured out how to run it on like vegetable oil. Um, but you can't find that information online. It's, it's all blocked and shit and taken down. You have to be smart enough to figure it out yourself or else, or know someone who's smart enough to figure it out themselves or else you can't do it. But there are so many alternative energy sources other than fossil fuel, but we only have fossil fuel because it's profitable for the fucks that profit off it. You know, it's the same with energy. Like, like I fucking pay an energy bill, but if Tesla had his way, everyone would have free energy. There wouldn't be energy bills. Every, every single person would have free energy because energy is free. It's in every single cell of our bodies and every single cell outside of us as well. And you can, and you can convert electricity so fucking easily. And like, it's basically free. I think, I think the estimate would be, I think it's like one to five pennies per household would, would, would be your electric bill is if, if Tesla had his way, um, but that's why they, that's why they killed him. Um, so, so yeah, I don't think electric cars are a scam, but I don't know a whole bunch about them. God, Larry's popping. Yeah. Larry likes to pop off when I'm streaming. Um, he, he just does that. Why the fuck do people neuter dogs? Uh, I don't know if you've ever had an animal in heat, but it's fucking hell, dude. Like it's so annoying. Like it's cause it's annoying. And it's like, if you have a dog, like, and you're not planning on mating them and stuff like it's nicer for the dog, I think, and nicer for you. Um, but like the idea of it is kind of gross. But I had a neuter Larry. I had to. Um, and that, that wasn't for his sake. That was because I had Boobadoo here and she was she wasn't spayed. Um, she handled it really like she wasn't she wouldn't get like she would get horny, but it wasn't like it wasn't like how most animals was. She was like a super, super smart, super spiritual, really, really. I can't even, there is no word for what Boobadoo was, she, but she was, oh, good job there. She was like, she was like, uh, she was like a fucking Hindu yogi inside of a cat somehow. Um, and, uh, and so we didn't get her spayed, but when we brought Larry in, like I had to get a neuter because I didn't want fucking a thousand fluffy black kitties. Although that would have been really fucking cool. Um, grape is natural. Uh, ask the Japanese. Yes. And, Benzos will kill your trip. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm anti-benzo. Um, Nubby says he weighs 140. Bullshit, dude. But Nubby's not 140. Dude, I'm around 140. Nubby's not 140. 
I don't because he's he's an well, he could be actually. I think he's a freshman, so he actually could be. But looking at his pictures and stuff, I really, really doubt it. And if he's 140, Nubby, I fucking challenge you. I fucking challenge you to anything you want. Boxing, kickboxing, MMA. I only I only train in boxing. Um, so if you're a good grappler, you, you could probably beat my ass. But uh, uh, yeah, if you're 140 and I'm 140, we should fucking do it, buddy. Respectfully, of course. I'm not respectfully. But uh, I do like I do like beating up people that don't have a chance against me. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Nubby. Uh, you need to set up your laptop so you can pin this stuff. Now. My laptop is set up. It's I, my laptop works fine. It's I, I need and I need internet connection, dude. Like if I had an internet connection, it'd be fine. And the hotspot I told you, like the hotspot on here, it it doesn't work if I'm at also using my phone, and it barely works anyways. It works perfectly fine the first year I had the phone, but then it started. Uh, bugging up. It was, I'm guessing it had to do with some of the Android updates would be my guess or just age. Um, it's caused by the sun rotating around us. Uh, what is Dude, this? Um, so there's a lot of different flat earth theories. Some people think uh, like some people think the sun don't exist and then some people think the, the sun rotates around us. But if the sun rotated around us, uh, that doesn't explain uh, that doesn't explain summer and winter and seasons and shit, you know, like, like to me, the sun rotating around you, that's like the dumbest flat earth theory. And they're all dumb. They're all really fucking dumb, but that's the dumbest. So that makes sense that you would say something like that toast. Just kidding, buddy. Um, okay. Put on a slutty Henley skinny jeans, tie my hair up. Like she likes it perfume and got a pump. Good luck, Polidori. Good luck. Um, I would not date your girlfriend. Um, you talking about the sun desk lamp theory? It's true. It ain't true. Apartments clean. Uh, uh, hopefully your girlfriend fucking... Um, hope, yeah, get, get her high. Like, like, just smoke a bowl with her and she'll probably forget that she's mad at you. That would, that, that's my... That's my recommendation is like, hey, honey, let's smoke a bowl real quick. Just a small one, just a little one. And, uh, and then she probably won't be mad at you anymore. Um, that's what I would do. Oh, shit. Polly, say Lisa when you're shagging her. Oh, my God, that'd be so fucking funny. That'd be so fucking funny. That'd be legend. Uh, weed affects tea levels. I've heard that, Harold Hansen. And I, I tend to agree. I tend to agree, but I don't think it, I don't think it affects tea levels nearly as much as alcohol does. Just in my personal experience, like, like, uh, um, like I can work out, smoke weed after and feel fine. If I work out and drink after it's death, it's death on my body. So, so I do think, I do think weed affects tea levels a little bit, but I don't think it's that much. I really don't think it's that much because I mean, I started smoking 20 years ago, so obviously I'm going to gain weight and muscle since then. But, uh, like, I am skinny, but, like, I, I do have a decent body for, for my size and shit. And if it really affected tea levels that much, like how soy does not like, like, if I drink alcohol every day, my body is shit. I have no muscle on me whatsoever. If I eat soy every day, my body is shit, no muscle whatsoever. I smoke weed every day, my body's fine. So... And I've cooked weed before and I didn't see like massive, like the, the, the most jacked I've ever been in my life. I was also smoking weed. So, and the two most, uh, the two, the two times I've been most jacked, I was smoking weed regularly all day. It wasn't just nighttime. It was all day. So I think it probably does a little bit because for me, it affects my motivation, but I, I don't feel anything within my body. Like, like I'm pretty in tune with my body and like, I can feel, I can feel when muscles are building or when they're not, when there's, when there's inflammation in my body, when there's not. And, uh, I just don't feel the difference, uh, when I smoke weed versus I don't. Um, so I, I think it does just slightly, but not that much. You're a nerd. Uh, sure. Sure. Um, check this guy's channel six. Well, what guy's channel master's channel? What guy's channel? Um, 
Polly say Kyle. <laughs> oh yeah, say Kyle mid pump. <laughs> that, that's fucking hilarious. Why do kids keep joining my streams? Uh, I don't know. Um, probably because I'm probably because I look like them. <laughs> the alternative fuel should be the Amazon rainforest. Uh, do you mean like all the native people that live there, and we just grind them up in like a fucking bone grinder and fucking put that in our gas tanks? Because I'm all for that. Fucking all for that shit. We should generate power by forcing the Uyghurs to turn wheels. Yet yeah, on, on fucking uh, hamster wheels and stuff. Um, don't worry, Toast. I did. It summoned extra tea. Good job, Polidori. Good job. Um, yeah, you say, Kyle, Kyle. And then you just get a bigger boner. Um, I'm trying to look like Guru. Is your, is your girlfriend uh, fucking Lisa Riley, Polidori? Polly, no mid back shot. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to neuter my pets that makes them low T. Uh, yes, it does. And it also makes them fucking livable to, it makes them, it makes them able to live with you without being super annoying. King Chubby, <laughs> yeah, King Chubby. King Tubby, King Chubby, and King Nubby, and King Lumpy. Uh, uh, yes, loquacious, yes. How can you disprove the sun desk lamp theory? You can't. Uh, I can't, well, I've, I've, di I've, I've said multiple things. I've, I've asked you guys multiple times to, to just disprove certain facts about the world and you guys haven't done anything. So, so I'm going to go with I'm right. Um, but yeah, like once again, if the earth is flat, why is Anchorage one of the main, main hubs, airport hubs in the entire world? Why? It, it, it literally cannot be if the earth world was flat because it would be so fucking out of the way for most things. But because the world is a sphere, it's not out of the way. Like it makes a lot of sense for people coming from Europe to fucking to land there as a halfway when they're going to like Japan or Seattle or Ontario or on, yeah, maybe even Ontario, oh, maybe not Ontario, but uh, Alberta and, and BC and shit. Um, it's like, it makes sense. But if the world was flat, it would make no sense at all. You're going way the fuck out of the way. So, so please, some, you flat earth motherfuckers, please explain that to me. Like that, and that's just one of the many fucking things. The other, the other thing, you guys laughed at me because you don't know physics, but like when something's spinning, the closer it is to the center, the faster it spins. You guys don't seem to understand that. But uh, um, can you detect atrophy? Uh, I mean, I can detect wheelchairs. I can detect wheelchairs. Guru's Casey O'Neill impression is so good. Dude, Guru's Casey O'Neill impression is probably my favorite. Uh, because, A, because he doesn't bust it out too much, so he hasn't overdone it. And, uh, and B, just because she is genuinely such an annoying, stupid cunt of a fighter. Uh, you don't know how hard it is to be a fighter. <laughs> that's, that's a fucking terrible one, but... Um, but uh, K K his, his, I wanted him to do a Casey O'Neill telling Arnold Allen impression that he doesn't know how hard it is to be a fighter. And she did it and I recorded it and he did, but, uh, but it wasn't a good, it was like his worst impression ever. So I'm going to ask him to do it again um, because those are his two best impressions and her, her, her like bullying Arnold Allen into, into thinking that he knows nothing about fighting. Um, uh, it's like my all-time favorite uh, impression idea, but uh, uh, but he pulled it off so shitty, so it has to happen again. Larry! Because there's a portal at the edge, because... Uh, okay, that doesn't say anything. It makes it seamless. Um, okay. And what on what basis... It, like, that's the thing. Like, all this flat earth shit, you, like, you just say shit without any... You could just say anything like that's 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 the good and bad thing about the human language. You can say whatever the fuck you want, but there's no I'm not saying there's not a portal at the edge, but what evidence is there a fucking portal at like what portal? Now, I do believe I will say this about flat earth. I don't think the earth's flat and I don't. But I do believe something is different than what they say it is if that makes sense. Like there is something going, I do think there's something near the earth, maybe surrounding the earth, I, I don't know. I do think there's something like near our atmosphere, like affecting the way earth operates. But that has nothing to do with any video I've seen or anything, it's, it's just my gut feeling, 
like when like when I sense things and like when I like I just sense there's some sort of yeah maybe a portal maybe, maybe it is a portal but like there's something fucking um, there's something affecting the way something about the earth uh, works but I genuinely don't know what it is and I really don't think it's flat but um but uh, but I would agree that there's there is some there's some level of fishiness but not the level of fishiness that you guys think it is. What political leaning would Volk be? Uh, well, I don't, I don't know anything about Australia politics and New Zealand politics. Um, Larry. <laughs> um, but he seems like, well, I don't know. He hangs out with Izzy. But then again, maybe he just hangs out with Izzy because they fucking train again. You know, he has no choice to hang out with Izzy, basically. Um, Volk to me seems like he would be a Republican. He'd be, he'd be on the right side. Like he would, he would def, definitely be conservative. It seems like a lot of liberal things and a lot of things Izzy does wouldn't sit well with him. He seems like that, that type to me. Um, but I could be wrong. I don't fucking know. And I don't, I, and I don't know the, the spectrum of what Australia is. I know Australia is a super soy ass country. I know that. Um, but, uh, uh, Larry sounds like a bird. Bird is one of his names. Uh, I call him Larry Bird all the time. Because <laughs> um, he was named after the great Larry Bird. Um, it's controlled by a god named Zenith. Uh, there's scriptures. Um, there's, okay. <laughs> what scriptures? Um, I'm pretty sure you're just trolling me, Loquacious. Which is fine. But uh, um, the truth, like... I don't know. I would have to do like my own. I don't care. And to be honest, I don't truly care enough about the whole flat earth thing or like port, like what's going on in the world because whatever's going on, like I can't do anything about it anyways. So I don't care that much about it. I don't, that's why I don't really dive too deeply into it. Like the shit I'm into is like way far beyond earth. Like, like the goal for me is like so far beyond earth. I want to get the fuck away from this stupid fucking planet. Um, and I don't believe it's as easy as putting a bullet in your head. Because otherwise, I probably would. Um, I don't think we landed on the moon. Very possible. I, I, I looked into, like, I haven't done a whole lot of research into the, I think it's 50-50. I think there's an argument made we did land on the moon. There's an argument that we didn't. Um, to me, that's another one. It's like, who cares anyways? Like, it doesn't affect my life at all. Um, so like I can see how they would have faked it. They definitely faked like the video of it for sure. They definitely faked that, but that does, that's not inherent proof that we didn't land on the moon. You know what I mean? Like they could have faked it because like they could have faked the video of it because they wanted some sort of evidence to show people that we actually did land on it. Or they could have faked it because we never fucking did it to begin with. Or maybe we did go to the moon, but like we didn't land on the moon. We just fucking did like a like an orbit or two and come back or something. I don't know. And once again, I don't care because that's a, that's a conspiracy theory that affects nobody's life. You know, like I'm not interested in, in shit that doesn't involve me. Um, but, uh, but yeah, like very possible we didn't land on the moon. Very possible we did. Um, I see evidence for both ways. And I, like I said, I genuinely don't care about it. So it's, it's not something I'm going to like really invest a lot of my time and mental capacity uh, thinking about when there's like much, much greater things thinking about uh, than that. Oh, I'm um, speaking of, uh, wait, I'll read this first. Um, I saw this bitch teleport when I was like nine. Uh, um, you got to be more detailed than that, Loquacious. I believe you, but like, what do you mean? You can teleport like, like a foot or two feet or three feet or like, or like a vast difference. Like, like she's like on the far side of the field and now she's on the other side of the far, like, there's differences. Was it like a glitch in your vision or was it actually like, no, this bitch fucking teleported a hundred feet like that. Um, but uh, that shit can and does happen. Like I, I do believe you. Um, have you seen the Apollo 11 interview where Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin looked terrified uh, uh, right after they returned from space? I did not. I did not. I have not, but I would like, I would have to watch it, but I would imagine after a long stint in space, you probably would be kind of terrified coming back down to Earth. Um, so I've heard from astronauts um, like that work in the, the, the International Space Station and stuff, 
They say once you're up in space, uh, you lose all connection to Earth. Like you just, you literally just see the Earth as one thing. Because it is, the Earth is literally just a tiny fucking organism in the vast universe. And when, once you zoom out of it, you're no longer a part of that organism. Your consciousness literally isn't a part of it anymore. So like the, the Gaia mind, uh, the matrix, whatever the fuck you want to call it, the collective human consciousness, it's on Earth. It's like, like the database is on Earth. This is location. So when you get out of it, the, the, the checks and balances on your brain that the collective puts on all of us without, without exception, it puts on every single, every single living human being that's gone. So the way you're, the way you're going to process things, the way you're, what you're thinking and the way you're thinking, everything's going to be your percent. Everything's going to be different. Everything's going to be massively fucking different. So I would imagine after a stint in space, if the first thing like you come down and like someone's fucking interviewing you, like you would be terrified. I'd be fucking like, I like whether or not it was the moon landing was fake or not. I don't think, I don't think that, uh, that indicates anything unless, unless there's something like specifically suspicious about that interview. Cause I haven't seen it. Um, but this is just me spitballing, um, off the top of my head. I, I would imagine, I think you'd be weird not to look afraid if you came from space for that long. Um, teleport away, disappear. Oh shit. Uh, was, was it just like some, was it like in front of you? Like a girl walking by and then just disappeared or, or yeah, I believe you though. I fucking believe you. Um, crazier shit than that has happened in my life. So, um, I believe you being in space makes you super low T. I would imagine so. I would imagine so. There's no, well, I believe at the space station, they have a, a gravity generator where where it mimics gravity and like I think for at least part of the time they can they can mimic the effects of gravity. But yeah, if you're if you're outside of gravity for a long time, um, like gravity is a is even though it's a weak force, it's still a force that our body has to fight every single time it does anything at all. Even breathe, like when we're sleeping, we're fighting against the force of gravity. So. That fight is inherently, even though it's weak, it inherently, because it's a struggle, because you need a certain level of strength and muscle to win that fight, you're gonna need a certain level of testosterone to fucking do it. So I, so yeah, I, like being in space for a long time would probably make you super fucking low G. Um, being on the moon would be the next level though, uh, than just being in space would fuck with your head. Uh, I mean, it'd be, it'd be crazy, uh, it'd be crazy to, um, to just look at the earth from the moon, that'd be fucking crazy. Um, and then jumping on the moon would be cool because I think the, I want to say the gravity is like a sixth of earth's gravity. So you can literally jump, like if you can jump 20 inches here, you could jump fucking like 120 inches in the air. <laughs> that'd be so fucking cool. Um, you, apparently you're not allowed to wink because the cum will spread through the IS uh no there's got to be a winking so because like when you pee you pee like when you're on the space like if you pee into something i imagine the wanking would be the same because you can't not come like if you don't jerk off for like two or three weeks you're gonna you're just gonna have a wet dream it's gonna come out either way and i feel like that would be way more of an issue having a wet dream out in space Versus like a controlled, I'm jerking off into the into the the P shuttle. So I feel like you should. I feel like you are you probably are allowed, but I don't know. I don't know. I haven't looked into it. Space coom. Oh, dude, could you imagine coming in space while you're staring at the Earth? Like, dude. After you do that, you could probably never look at life the same again. Um, how the fuck do they keep oxygen in there? Um, they have oxygen tanks. Uh, cause if the people inside the ISS breathe in oxygen and breathe out CO2, they don't run out oxygen. Um, well, first off, when we, what we breathe out is there's still a lot of oxygen in it. I believe, but depending on your elevation and where you live on earth, but I think on average, roughly there's like 18% or so oxygen. It might be 20, somewhere between 18 and 20% oxygen. 
uh, like around sea level on Earth, and then the rest is like nitrogen and like other random gases, CO2 and shit. Um, but when you breathe it, like, like the, what you breathe out, I believe it's like, it's still like 16% oxygen. You're only using a small percentage of the oxygen you're, you're breathing in. So like you can recycle it a certain amount of times. And, um, and I think they just have, they just have oxygen tanks. I'm pretty sure they, they just, but I, I think they, I think, uh, with, with each, um, with each batch of new people, because like, like they, they shuffle people in and out. I think they just bring, with people, they bring in supplies, they bring in food, they bring in oxygen, you know, they bring in everything that you would need. But I don't know, like I haven't researched it. This is just what I would imagine that they're doing. Um, but, uh, or maybe, or, may, or maybe they don't bring in oxygen, but they bring, they just bring water. Um, and water is really easy to, to separate and convert into oxygen and hydrogen. That could be it too. They just bring massive amounts of water and they convert it into air. Um, they must be allowed to, they must wank even if they're not allowed. Yeah, like you, you have to, you need to, as a, as a male, you need to come a certain amount of times. And even if you're in space, you're, uh, that need doesn't go away. And if you don't, it's just a wet dream. And that's going to be way worse to deal with in space. So yeah, dude, yeah, Matt, uh, dude, uh, Matt, yeah, busting a nut while staring at the earth, dude, like from far away. Um, surely it's not just oxygen tanks. Uh, well, so I mean, like it probably not, I, I don't really, I don't fucking know. I haven't researched it, but, uh, there's gotta be some, maybe they, I mean, carbon dioxide, it's one carbon molecule, two oxygen molecules. So if you could, if you found a way to separate that, to, to separate the carbon from the oxygen without it fucking being combustible and exploding. Then that would be. Then you could have unlimited air. Now I'm thinking about it, but I don't. I don't know if that exists or if that's just in my head. Like I know theoretically that could easily exist, just like you can make oxygen from water, um, and they do do that. But uh, I don't. I don't know. Look it up. Like I'm sure. I'm sure they. They're fucking. They got some crazy ass shit. Um, but I have no idea. Um, what time is it? I'm getting fucking tired. All right. Uh, I will, I want to go now, but I will stay for another half hour or so. I just don't know what to fucking say. I don't know what to fucking say. I usually do like two hours. I've been doing two hour streams lately because I find like after two hours, I get really fucking um, just retarded. My brain just stops working. It's hard to just talk constantly for, for hours on end. Like, in the context of conversations with people, I like, I like, um, I like having a back and forth and I like creating shit in, in conversations. I don't like being the only one. So this is, this is still a very unnatural thing for me. Um, uh, could we take animals to the moon or would they die? Uh, well, they would need an oxygen tank, like an ox, like a, like a, a space suit, just like a human would. Um, like, are you, are you talking about sending Omar Cuckles to the moon? Like, like, like the monkeys they sent, they allegedly sent there before the humans. Um, thank you, Loquacious. I don't feel like I am, but thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm so confused. How? Dude, what? Looking for my capo or capo as a musical calls it, but I've never heard it called a capo. It's a capo. It's a fucking capo lad. Just like it's pasta, not pasta. No, we need to contain him on earth. We can't let his kind spread. Okay, but if we if we uh, neutered him and if we're sending him up alone, and he, we wouldn't even have to neuter him. We just send him up alone and he can't, he can't spread. He's not gonna have some like cell osmosis and create another Omar Cuckles. That would be fucking terrible. Um, that'd be absolutely terrible. 
But I feel like if we sent him up there, at the very least, Kyla can have like an actual good life. You know what I mean? I kind of feel for her. Because Kyla's really taking one for the team. <laughs> Look at Cucks by an alien. Uh, very true. The green little man is going to drink. I agree, the purchase. I think uh, Omar, because of of his genetics and because of how he's raised and because of his politics and his uh, his overall perspective and outlook on life, I think I think no matter where he goes, he's inevitably going to get cut. You're right, um, but I think he wants it that way. I think I think he has a he has the idea of, in his mind that he's um, that he's like a white knight. He's like a knight in shining armor because he's allowing his average at best white women to just uh, cuck the shit out of him. Rip Omar. Can't wait till I fucking smoke a bowl, guys. Is this a goodbye song? Uh, it could be. It could be, but I'm planning on staying for another 23 minutes. Um, but it could be a goodbye song. Kyla Moore, I was just speaking about you. You beautiful, you beautiful angel. Loquacious, why would you say these things? Yes, Loquacious, why the fuck would you say these things? Omar says you're one of his best friends online. Very, very... Yeah, well, I'm not his friend, I'm a zookeeper. Yes. Uh, well, Loquacious, just because you're a zookeeper doesn't mean you're not his friend. I mean, you might not be... He might not be your friend, but you're still his friend because you're all he's got. You're the one who feeds him bananas, right? God, Omar, that hurts my soul to hear that. I was hoping that you won by a rear naked choke, that you could use your shit stained tail to fucking get a good get a good choke on somebody. But Omar, to be fair, you got in the you got in there in the cage with a, with an actual human and you lost. There's there's nothing there's nothing to be ashamed about that. Um, just because I feed him bananas every morning doesn't mean he has to be my friend. I have to be his friend. Yes, I know, but you're the only, you're the only one 
that he gets in contact with. Otherwise, he, he just has people like pointing and staring at him and throwing bananas at him all day. Um, you're the only one that gives him bananas without doing it degradingly, even if that's not your intention. Omar, why can't you text your girl, smack my head, smack my head, are your monkey fingers too big? Probably, she was terribly worried. You can still have Tyrone over if you want, Kyla. It would actually make me feel better <laughs> if you did. I mean, Omar, since you just got brutally knocked out, the least Kyla can do is call over Tyrone. Kyla went with Tyrone, the guy who KO'd you. Damn. Oh, that, uh, no, it wasn't an actual human. It was an orangutan. Oh, at least it was a fair fight. At least it was a fair fight. That's not... That's not correct. correct either. I don't remember the song having a fucking capo on it, but what? Oh, it's the... That's why I was doing the wrong fucking chords. It's like, this doesn't fucking sound right, dude. So maybe it was. Feel like orangutans would be good grapplers. Probably, dude. Probably. And there's like shit kicked all over them. So it'd be really fucking smelly. You're not going to want to grapple with them, which is going to make them that much better grapplers. Um, that's the main reason, a lot of reasons, but that's the main reason why I don't do jujitsu and don't want to do jujitsu. It's like I don't want to fucking roll around with some smelly fucking asshole. Um, loquacious, they are even better. Trust me. They're even better lovers, trust me. Oh wow. Kyla, you are a you are probably the reason why AIDS started. But um but uh hey, to each his own. Kyla, did you start the spread of AIDS to even this? <laughs> yeah, right on cue. Right on fucking cue. I feel like Kyla probably did. She wouldn't admit it. Um, because that's kind of like a crazy thing to admit. Um, you know the bears could be wrestled, we're all drugged up, shit's all fake. Uh, yeah, I think they, I think their claws were clipped and, and like teeth were grinded down and they were all drugged up. I, yeah, I heard that too. And I, that makes sense. Like, I don't, even if you're a crazy Dagestani, like, are you going to let your fucking 10 year old kid wrestle a bear? Probably not. Unless there were some like fail safes, you know? So yeah, I would, I would think that's, there's a good chance of that. Fucking hate Dagestanis. Oh my god, dude. We're about to have another Dagestani champion in a, in five days. And it hurts my soul because I don't understand why we're doing like I, I don't understand why why it's not Glover. Why isn't Glover involved in this fight? Was he hurt? Did he have a lingering injury? Or did he just not want to fight Ankalaev? Or, but I feel like it would have been Jan versus Glover for the fight. I don't, I don't think Ankalaya would have gotten the, sh the shot over Jan if it was against Glover. So I don't fucking know. But the fact that we're going to have another Dagestani, champ Dagestani champion likely crowned in five days. Uh, dude, it hurts my soul. We just had one. We, ju we just had a Dagestani Replace the best champion we've had, maybe ever. 
Chat, true or false? As far as excitement, as far as excitement and um, and an activity level, has there ever been a better champion than Charles Oliveira? Yes or no? Because I'm gonna say fucking no. I cannot think of a, a champion who was as entertaining and as active as Charles Oliveira. And now, and replaced by fucking Islam, who's gonna fight once a year, who's just gonna wet blanket your ass. He's more exciting than could be, but still. And he's a roid abuser. And now we're having Yuri, the second most entertaining, or maybe he was the most entertaining, but not nearly as active fight champion that we had. He's gone, and we're going to have him replaced by another Dagestani. It's like, why can't the MMA just work how it's supposed to work? Like, we got Pereira to win. We got Leon to win. Why couldn't Charles have won? Why couldn't Yuri have stayed healthy? You know, like, because then we would have had exciting champs across the board besides, um, besides Aljo. Aljo is the only one that isn't. Um, but it's, it's like whenever, whenever we get like a, we get a prize, we get something taken away from us. Like we need an era of just all exciting champions, all active, all finishers, um, like we, we need Hamza as a champion in 175 or 185. I don't care. I, we need an active Hamza as a champion. I think that would be really good for the sport. Um, I think he would murder Leon. Leon could make, give him a few problems, but I feel like he destroys Leon. Um, and I feel like I feel like the only person that I see giving Hamza issues is is Colby, and that's if that's only if. Hamza like thinks he can finish him in one round and goes for it. And then he doesn't. And then he gasses himself out. If that's the case, then I can see Colby beating him. But if Hamza fights smart, I don't see any chance Colby beating him. And Hamza isn't going to be afraid to go down, go down to the ground with, with Colby. Like he was with, with Gilbert, which was also really stupid. He shouldn't have been afraid of that. Um, and Hamza could have beaten Gilbert in round one. Like, he chose not to, like a fucking retard. But I feel like he, he probably learned from that. Um, let's see. What's uh, up, Harold? How's it going, bro? Um, good, good. Have you had your fight yet? Yes. Omar, was it true you let Color X raw dog you for $70? Yes, loquacious, but I need the money. Fair. I'm in the same boat. I'm in the sa same boat, Omar peoples. And... Uh, um yeah it's getting it's hard to, it's hard to fucking uh make money when you're just a dumb monkey with no talent i feel you glover wanted more time but they obviously don't want didn't want to delay the events okay 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 but like was he going to pull out of the of the yearly fight i don't get it like if he needed more time like this it was going to take place this week anyways whether he fought Yuri or, or, or fought someone else. So was he just going to go into the Yuri fight injured? Was maybe, was that the fucking plan the whole time? Cause I do believe the first fight was fixed. I really believe that. Um, so was, was the plan for him to just lose the second fight as well. But now that, now that Yuri's gone, that plan is scrapped. And because that plan is scrapped, he's like, Oh fuck, well I'm injured and I don't have a chance to, Fight. Like, I don't, I don't, under, I just don't quite understand it. Like, if you're, if you're too injured to fight, to fight Yan, then you're, then wouldn't you be too injured to fight Yuri? Um, unless the injury happened right when, uh, right, right when Yuri pulled out. I don't fucking know. Oh, and Guru is live. So, with that said, unless you guys want me to stay, I'll stay on for another 10 minutes if you want me to. If you want me to, if not, I can say goodbye right now. Um, either way, I don't care. I'm not going to be on Guru Stream until an hour in, and then I'll just be put. I'll put it on two X um, because I have to do my my NBA bets, and uh, and his streams have been so low T anyways that I don't have high hopes for this one. Um, but uh, uh, see, so I'm going to read all the all the things, and and then I'll go. Um, uh loquacious you are actually so rude 
don't say that to Loquacious. Omar let Cutler Raw Dog him to help pay for his for my mom's cancer bills. Yes, that's so rude, Loquacious. Come on. Think of think of Kyla's mom. No, it's Aljermaine Sterling. Uh to fuck Aljermaine Sterling. I fucking hate that guy. I think Sahudo, as long as Sahudo doesn't have ring rust, I think Sahudo fucking destroy. I think I think Sahudo makes Sterling look like a retard. I really think so. Um people under both guys the flukiest careers fucking ever but but stylistically i think Sahudo gives him so many fucking issues he's going to be faster he's not like he's not going to give up his back uh and um yeah that's basically it. he's not going to give up his back his wrestling is more than enough to counter uh aljo's grappling i think and uh, the speed, the speed advantage on the feet is gonna, it's gonna be huge. It's gonna be fucking huge. I got, I got Sahudo all day as long as he's the same Sahudo. It's a big, it's a big if, because he could, like that ring rust could really affect him for maybe the first round or maybe the first three rounds or the whole fight. You really don't know. Um, but even still, I'm gonna side with Sahudo for right now, anyways. So they just made Ankalaya Pahovich. I know it's fucking, it's so fucking gay though. Like it's so fucking lame. We don't, we don't need Ank. Like, couldn't they? Isn't there another? Well, I guess there isn't because Rakic is still hurt, and he's off a loss anyway. Um, but I just think there has to be someone else they could put in there with Jan. Fuck, I would have rather had Jamal Hill versus Jan. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't want another Dagestani champion. It hurts my soul, my poor sick soul. Jiru. Yes, he's alive. He is alive. Uh, Zlatan is the top G. I don't know who that is. Um, but yeah, any questions you guys want to ask me before I go? Because I am about to go. And uh, I am so fucking tired right now. Talking for this long is like, it's hard, man. It's fucking hard. Um, that being said, I don't really feel bad for it. I get why Guru doesn't want to stream five days a week, six days a week, but he gets paid to do this. I'm doing this, I get paid every fucking now and then, but I'm basically doing this for free, for funsies. And uh, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm pretty regular with it now, so. Uh, research Plum Island after. Uh, I will forget, I will forget. Uh, Loquacious, if you DM me something uh, with Plum Island or whatever, like I'll remember, but otherwise I'll forget. Like. I pretty much forget everything I fucking say on these streams. It's like it's like one fucking um, one fucking blur thing. I know they're not. Look, quick, what the fuck is up with Ch Cheddarhead came in, and I still haven't gotten a fucking Cheddar chat. Like Cheddar in the chat, boys. That's what I'm. That's what I'm looking for. Um, but maybe it's because that's what I'm looking for. That's why I'll never get it. You know, but it hurts me to see that he's donating to Chael, who's a millionaire. And I'm not even a dollar heir. But whatever, I'll get more money soon. I'll get to my money soon. I always do, lad. Uh, dude, can you please set up your laptop next time so you can pin the dono stuff? No, dude, I'm telling... My laptop works fine. It's not the fucking... It's... I don't have an internet connection. I don't pay for internet. I don't have an internet connection. Um, so, like, I, there's no... I can't use... I can't use the laptop online when I'm when I'm streaming on my phone when, when I'm not using my phone at all I can use hotspot and like it's really buggy but I can use it sometimes and uh yeah so that's what I'm talking about loquacious the hotspot it's really buggy on my on my phone we're like if, if I'm not using my phone at all uh because I use hotspot only for tinder it's the only thing I use it for on my other phone and it turns off all the fucking time, just randomly, like every couple of minutes or sometimes it'll be like immediate, it'll just randomly turn off. Um, I think it, I think it's the driver, like it's not compatible with, with like an update. Um, it happened like a year ago and it never fixed. Um, but it does that anyways, which is really annoying, but it still works. But when I'm streaming or, or not when I'm streaming, but when I'm using my phone, like if I'm, if I'm watching a video or something, and trying to use hotspot, it just won't fucking work. Like, like I'll turn it on and it'll turn back off. Turn it on, turn it back off, turn it off. Like as soon as as soon as data from my phone is being is being sent in or or sent out, it turns it off. And it's not a it's not a it's just a glitch in the phone. Um, so I can't. Otherwise, I fucking would. 
Otherwise, I fucking would, lad. Uh, and if if I could do like, I, there's so many things I want like for like the streaming setup. But having internet would be really nice because then I could stream. I could stream like Cage Warriors and PFL and Bellator and other cards that Guru doesn't. I feel like that would get me a lot of views um, and a lot of donations. Um, and it'd be nice, like if I just had my laptop on me, um, that I could just fucking uh, steal your neighbors in it. Washington, I tried, they're all WPA2s. Like I used to do that uh, fucking like 15 years ago. Uh, back home, I used to, st- uh, I used to steal my neighbor's internet because it was it was back in the days when it was just the WPA encryption and it really wasn't that hard to to hack. But now everyone's like WPA two or W or no it was a WEP I think I think it was WEP that was the easiest one to hack. One of them was fucking easy to hack. But now in twenty twenty like it's not easy to hack. I could still do it if I had the right equipment, but I don't have the right equipment and. Um, and paying for that equipment would be like, it's like, might as well just fucking pay for, pay for a fucking internet. Uh, it's really annoying because I have internet all around me. There's like tiny fucking apartments. I like, there's so many Wi-Fi connections I could theoretically hack into. Um, and it, it just taunt me. They fucking taunt me every time I turn on the Wi-Fi button. But I don't. I haven't found an easy way to do it without without any uh, without any actual hardware, um, because it's a it's a it's a much harder encryption. Um, the WPA2 is much much harder. So Washington, I've tried. I've tried multiple times. Um, and I used like when I first moved here, I could put my I would put my uh, my laptop on the windowsill right there. And there's in that building, if you can see that building over there. Um, they have Wi-Fi, and for the first like three years living here, as long as the wind was going this direction, like going blowing west, which nine times out of ten it is, I would be able to get internet, and it was fucking awesome. This is free internet, uh, but then uh, the um, the the place cha- the the owners of this of this apartment complex it changed. And they did something to the fucking thing, and now I can't I can't log on anymore. Um, so that kind of fucking sucks because that would have been really fucking helpful. Um, and that was the main reason why I never got internet. If I never like if I was never able to get internet from there, like I would have been paying for internet like this entire time. Um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, with that said, it is almost seven. Uh, I will see you guys in Guru Stream a little bit later. I'll probably join. Let's see. I'll probably join like in forty minutes or so. Um, but I'll be I'll be on two X, so I, w- I won't be caught up with you guys. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys on stream. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, Sight loquacious. Uh, hopefully, we can get a musical yog chug tomorrow or Thursday. Been waiting for that. But um, I'm sure he has his reasons why he didn't. I'm not mad about it. Like as long as he actually does it, um, which I'm sure he will, because uh, he lost the bet. Um, then, then yeah. But I'm looking forward to that, and uh, not looking forward to Guru's low tiness. But hopefully it's decent, and hopefully there's some nice clippable moments. Anyways, I'm rambling. I will see you guys later. Peace.